Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. Ha! Whoa, my chair is way higher than it should be. Right there. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that should pull that up. That's good. That's good. Let's get the music going. Give me music or give me death. Give me calming jazz music. Or what is this? Oh, give me calming chill lo-fi hip hop or give me death. Uh, let's go to the channel here. I need to pop out the chat. Pop out the chat. Pause that. Pop out chat. I can now see you. Hello. Hi, Dent. Hi, Ordy. Hi, Sunny Cookie. I'm going to read off like the first 10 people that I see. Love drawing. Hello, Sunny. Hello, Julian. Hello, Solar Eclipse. Hello, Leo Ling. Le Leo Ing, Donovan, Sunny. Let's get started on a stream, shall we? We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to post this to Instagram. And today we're going to be working on this. Working in Clip Studio again. Hey, isn't that awesome? I bet you guys are super excited for that. It's going to be a good time. But the first thing I need you guys to do is I need you to light up that chat. Light up that chat because we're about to do we're about to do a little Instagram plug. Okay, so let's see. Oh, crap. Please light up the chat, say hello Instagram because I'm about to take a video telling everybody from Instagram to get their buns over here. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. All that Kwanzaa stuff. Hope you had a good end of your year. I sure did. I can't wait to tell you about my resolutions. All my personal, deepest, darkest resolutions. All right, let's get an Instagram going because we're going to do a little something like this. Hello there, Instagram. Is Aren't I looking beautiful today? I took some extra time to do my hair. And look at this chat. All, they all want you to come hang out. Please come hang out with us as we're painting Mocha. Swipe up and see you soon. Thank you all. <laughs> and yeah, I did take some extra time to do my hair. Don't you notice how shimmery it is? Oh. Ever since I went to go visit my mom and my aunt, they're super, they know how to do hair. So they're like, my mom calls me Bubby. She's like, oh, Bubby, let me show you how to do your hair. And if you want to call me Bubby, you can do that too. All right, uh, we're going over to Instagramage. And let me know how this music sounds. Ooh, I like it. It's very chill, very relaxing. Right now it's at five. All right, uh, let us go here. We need to post something new. Post this thing here. Boom. We are doing call to action. Oh my gosh, did I actually do this? I think I did this. Oh! Done. Slapping that call to action. Swipe up. Dream. Starting now. And let's kick that up a little bit. Wait, why is it all... Did Instagram redo their thing? The way that it looks is not as cool. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, you guys can see it right there. Thank you all. Did you see yourself in the chat? <laughs> Check it out. I'll let it go again. It's our good old swipe up. Thank you all for your help. Look, here, here comes the chat. Here, there you guys are. Oh! See you guys right there. Thank you for helping me. That's going to Instagram, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's get freaking started right now. All right. Oh, I got to make sure that's uploading. Last time I didn't upload. I 
think we're good. I think we're good. The Discord link will be posted all throughout the stream. We're going to go ahead and jump into this. Looks like that sure did upload. Okay, cool. So today we're going to be working on some fun things with Mika. Mika. Because what I want to do here is I would really like to turn this into a full piece. So I've got a couple ideas here. First thing we're going to do is maybe just control C, control V that. That way we can... Oh no, we need to unlock this. Oh dear, we must unlock this. And then we need to set this to white. Can't, can I fill this? Is this still set up? It is, it's working, yay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna, my first plan of attack is to knock this down in opacity because I wanna create something along these lines. Let's go ahead and lower this, uh, not saturation, luminosity. Luminosity. Let's lower that down. I'm gonna go ahead and move this right next to me. There we go. Okay. That way you guys can hear my voice, right? I'm working a little bit more on projecting. I found out I can kind of talk loud into this mic before it starts peaking. So uh, if it's way too loud right now, I apologize to your ears, but I found out that uh, I tried to fiddle around with it and get it working just perfectly. But let me show you what I want to do today. What we're going to do today is we're going to grab our pencil. Is it that one? Ah, I think that's the one. There's a tiny bit of lag, but you know what? That never stopped us. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so what I wanna do here today is I'm just gonna sketch out what this is gonna look like as a square because we've got Mika's face right here, right? Oh, wow, this is like working really, really well. This is working really well today. So we've got something like this, right? So she's going to be sitting like this and she's going to be massive, right? And then I want like her oh, something happening right here. Like she's basically going to be standing upon herself. She's standing upon herself and it's going to look like a super trippy, um, like a super trippy version of Mika. So she'll be down like this and her pigtails will be going out like that. I think that looks cool. But how do I want to overlap that is the question. That is the question of the day. And why am I painting on the background? Nobody knows. Nobody knows, but we're just gonna keep rolling with it. Keep on rolling with it. So we've got Mika right here. That's looking pretty nice. And I always think about bad guys go from le right to left, right? They're opposing the natural order of things, unless you're in Japan. Then in that case, I guess the good guys go from right Actually, you know what? We should totally flip this because she's supposed to be Japanese. So let's metagame it and let's flip her around. Uh, I think the way to do that would be, actually, let's just draw another one because one of the things I want to show you guys today is how I thumbnail and how I just don't get attached to stuff. So I'm going to start a new thumbnail and we're going to actually flip this entire thing around because I want her face, like I said, to be huge. And it's kind of going to be looking something like this. So that eye will be there. This eye will be kind of right there. And we're going to use our sketch as an overlay, you know, uh, once we get started. But this is just me kind of figuring out the general gist of things. <laughs> uh, asking about, if anyone wants to know about my Clip Studio paint uh, brushes, I think there's something called like Juicy Brushes or something. They're not even mine, but you can look them up. They're called like Red Juice, Red Juicy Brushes. Somebody suggested them right as I was getting started, and it was really nice. It was very nice of them to do that. So I don't know why I'm even bothering. Look at how I'm like drawing in Mika's face shapes and stuff. And this isn't even a very cute looking face, but uh, it has some potential, but we already have a face that works. What I want to figure out is how we're going to have her standing on herself. Maybe something like this. Yeah, because that head will barely be overlapping. So I'm thinking maybe something like this. I'm gonna break it down even further. 
break it down even further. So we've got face here, neck here, and then we've got her here. So look at how simple I'm breaking this down. I want one pigtail like that, the other one like that. We've got these coming down here. We've got that pigtail going out like that. I'm thinking that could work. And then her chest is basically going to be very forward because she basically needs to be standing on her own chest. So the way that that's going to work is... Actually, yeah, she needs to be in the same pose. So she needs to have her chest out. Something like that I think is going to be good. Look at this cute little Mika face. Love it. Okay, that is about what I'm thinking. And then we've got this going back here like that. Looking good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer. I'm gonna fill this one. And uh, just so you guys know, today we're going to be messing around with a little bit of a different schedule. I'm going to be taking a break. I'm going to be basically going into the zone for about 10 to 15 minutes at a time. Then I'll take a little break to stretch, and at that point I will take a look at the chat. So if you notice that I am ignoring you, know it is intentional. <laughs> because I just want to focus a little bit more on drawing, and then I will get to you guys in the break. Thank you guys for all showing up, by the way. I appreciate you guys being here. So... Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, I totally saw what you're talking about. Yeah, this is similar to the Hollow Knight thing. Um, and you know what? I realized, I was like, you know what? Sometimes you just find a composition that works. And I got this idea of, like, cute anime girl with small thing on her chest. So we're going to just freaking do that over again. And we're going to do it with Mika. Except this time it'll just be Mika standing on her on herself. So we're going to go ahead and flip this around because I think what would help us here is turning this like this and then, yeah, maybe something like that. So we're going to lower down this opacity even further because in order for Mika to be standing here, we need to basically figure out our new composition. So let's go ahead and do that on this layer. Oh, and I'm liking this music. This is very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and go light. You'll notice that when I'm sketching in, I always go very, very light. Oh, speaking of light, I need to change my pressure. By the way, how you like that new nebula behind me? I was rocking this new Baja hoodie that my girlfriend got for me for Christmas. I love it. And so I said, hey, we should have a nebula to match. So I hope you like it. And thank you, baby. Thank you for the Baja hoodie. I'm just switching over my tablet settings. I bet you'd like to see this, wouldn't you? Look at that. Normally I'm on soft, one click down towards soft, but on Clip Studio, they have it perfectly set up for basically default settings on the Wacom. So we're gonna go ahead and just get to that. Okay, so there's a part of me that I mean, we could redraw this entire thing or we could say, you know what, screw that. We've already got a lot of the work done and then just work with this. And that is definitely what I would rather do. However, this part right here, I just need to figure out this anatomy right here. So we'd have a neck coming down like this. We'd have this going like this. And then we really need to get this chest popping out because Mika is essentially standing on this plane right here. Unknown Please sign. Oh, I noticed you unknown. Sign. Please tell me how to pronounce that sign. Sine. I'll pronounce it however you like it. Thank you so much for the super chat and thank you for being the first super chat of the day. I love you. I love you very much. All right, so this shoulder goes out like this. And see how I'm just kind of like drawing this together? It's so much easier when you have, um, what's the word? This type of stuff is a lot easier when you're drawing the portrait up close. 
Now, of course, we drew Yoko before, and unlike Yoko, Mika is quite flat. So uh, that's why I'm saying her chest needs to be like <gasps> out like that. It might look crazy unnatural. So we're going to have to figure out a couple things. We're going to have to figure out exactly. Maybe there could be some ruffles happening within here. Maybe Mika could then be standing on the ruffles. Give us some volume for her to stand on. I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be pretty cute. And then, let's see. You can watch me just basically think out loud, drawing out loud. So this would be her actual chest right here. And then we'd have maybe some ruffles here and then Mika could be standing herself on this. Cause I want her head to be right around there. She's gonna have to be pretty tiny. The other option is if we need to move the chest up, right? The other option is moving the camera down. Cause if we have the camera, right, at the chest level, then we can basically have like a flat plane, almost like a horizon line. So that is another option that we can do. But I know that the current chest is just not gonna work. So uh, we're about to there, let's go ahead. Again, I'm showing you guys how I don't get attached early on. I'm just getting ideas down. So. I got that idea, I control copy, control pasted to start a new one. I'm gonna try moving the camera down. I'm gonna try moving the camera down. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're thinking about, here's the collarbone right here. And then we've got chest coming directly toward us. That, see, that already looks a million times better. Very cute, very cute. And then see that, we got that little division line. This is how I draw chests. So that's kind of like the rib cage right there. And I like that. See how it has that nice flow to it? Look at how straight and like flat that chest is. Perfect for standing somebody else on it, like Mika herself. I'm gonna check the proportions really quick. The proportions are gonna get really wonky here because as you are messing around with that camera angle, Remember how I said the chest is basically one head down? Doesn't necessarily apply here. Doesn't necessarily apply. So I'm gonna grab this really quick. I need that on regular lasso. There we go. Let's go ahead and fiddle around with this. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Her head's looking a little big. We can go ahead and move it a little bit more like that. Uh, and I'm gonna be taking my first break in about five minutes, so. Till then, I'm just in the zone. Yeah, and I like these ruffles right here. This, The original drawing underneath had these ruffles from the dress going like this. Ruffles, I have begun to fall in love with. I love good ruffles, and people that can do them, they just, they make me really happy. They make me really, really happy. So practice those ruffles, pra practice those folds. I mean, I should be talking to myself. It seems like everybody all of a sudden became like a renaissance master of painting folds, and you know what, that makes me really uncomfortable. Because I'm sitting over here, I don't know how to do folds but I'm getting better at it slowly but surely. All right, so see, we've got a nice plane. So let's say that I'm just gonna kind of sketch out the geo of this, right? Think of it like, I like to think about seam lines going up the chest. I think this has a very specific um, seam name. I think it's called like princess seam or something like that, where the seams go right through the center of the boobs or the chest. Same thing. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that looks really, really cute. Looks really cute. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely working. Definitely working right now. Okay, so we've got that down. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. And let's go ahead and save this. Did it save? I think it saved. Cool. So I'm going to darken this color down a little bit. And then I'm going to double check the music really quick. 
because I think that was the end of my playlist. I got a bunch of new stuff today, a bunch of really good new stuff. Uh, let's see here. All no copyright. And if there is something copyrighted, it will be removed. It will be removed from the list. Okay, so we listened to that one. I want maybe this one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Some instrumental. Instrumental. And in fact, let's go ahead and just jump into our first break. I'm going to jump into the first break. Oh, and I, because I am working without a glove, first of all, that's really bad. And uh, I need to put that on. Where is my glove? There it is. I'm going to take a break and stretch. Take a break and put on my glove. Fa Marianda, Mika's looking quite different. I know, that's why we're trying to fix it, right? I like this face, but... I mean... We're still trying to figure out what Mika looks like in general anyway, so... Butterbread, are you going to release the music playlist at any time? Uh, maybe. I mean, I just type in no copyright jazz, no copyright instrumental. <laughs> what does the glove do? Oh, it basically, it unlocks my power. Um, before I was working at like maybe 50% of my power. Now I can go all the way to like 90, 100%. And it's the power of Incrediware, soon to be a sponsor of this channel, I hope. <laughs> you guys digging the sweater? Thanks, my girlfriend got it for me. Nate M. Yes, I use the chalk brush still. I use the chalk brush still, but today we're just in Clip Studio. And we're using juicy red brushes or something like that. So yeah, I'm just going to stretch, relax for a moment, listen to this amazing music. Chill out inside my nebula. Join me in my nebula, if you would. It goes quite nicely with this, wouldn't you say so? Just a girl on YouTube, I'm really glad you can make to the stream too. Thanks for showing up. Red juices. Thank you, Butterbread. Yes, red juices. All right, so I'm just doing my stretches here. I can show you like this. Place your hand upon the nebula. and absorb its power. And if that don't work, use this. It's an antler from one of Santa's reindeer, see? Freaking slayed a reindeer over Christmas. This is, I'm pretty sure this is Vixen's horn. And uh, yeah, I just use this on my back now. It's really good at getting pressure points out, specifically like right below the shoulder blade. It's quite good, so if you're interested, or if you have some back problems like me, working professionally, or just doing it at home, uh, look into a back buddy. Also soon to be sponsor of this channel. <laughs> Rar's artist, how long are my breaks? Uh, usually about like five minutes. Especially on stream, I don't want to sit here forever. But uh, when I'm just working by myself, I'll take like half an hour sometimes. Just take as long as I want. Is it break time already? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is. But guess what? Breaks over. Breaks over and just like that. See, just a little bit of stretching. A little bit of looking also. This is the other important thing about the break is that you're looking at your canvas and you're asking yourself important questions. You're asking yourself questions like, is this working? What could I be doing differently? What needs to be added? And just like that, we're going to jump right back into it. Okay. So I'm picking a slightly darker color now because now I want to get in there. We're going to get in there nice and close like, and we're going to sketch in Mika's body. Okay. So I'm going to lower down the opacity on this even further. And we are going to draw in a little Mika. Something is she needs to be right about here and watch how I sketch the sin. See ball and then chin shape. Booyah. Easy. And then I'm trying to kind of replicate this face shape as well. And then uh, we'll be going back in and kind of modifying the face that I did in my uh, sketchbook. Because I thought it was okay, but hang on. 
I need a different eraser. Can I get a soft... What's a guy got to do to get just some opacity on his erasures? Um, needed eraser, I guess. I guess that works. Okay, so head, again, before we even start getting in there and adding in face, you know, all the face stuff, don't even bother, right? We want to get this thing figured out. We know that that pose is going to be replicated, so let's sketch in the torso like this. And then we've got the hips. And then basically what we're doing is we're thinking about a line of action. So if her chest is like this, I imagine she'd be standing, you know, there's a line of action that's gonna be going like this. The S curve is gonna be like that. So, and the nice thing about having this on its own layer is we can reposition it however we like. I think that looks good. She might have to end up being a lot smaller because see how far her legs need to go down? I'm thinking one leg is gonna be out like this and the other leg is gonna be out like this or something. See, she's standing way too low on her chest. And if we move her up, you know, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to make those background layers bigger. We're going to make you much, much bigger. Boom. We're talking like, can I hold shift to keep the proportions? Yes, I can. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's get this nice and big. Maybe move the face over like this. Yeah, that looks better. Because basically I want the feeling to be um, you're looking at her in a small version, and then there's a huge version behind her. And then she will be holding, she'll be holding maybe her knife or something. Maybe something like that. But see how simple my poses start out? It's really actually quite funny. Okay, let's see. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, it's looking good. Cool. And now what I'm thinking is what plane is she actually standing on, right? Because the chest is going here and then here, there's nothing for her to stand on. So what I'm thinking is that this, you know, the cloth that's gonna be on here is gonna have to be a little bit more taut across the chest. Not quite as form fitting, unfortunately. But that's just one pose. That's just one pose. Maybe we can make it work with something else. But yeah, basically this cloth now has to be pretty flat. Actually, we can have just a tiny bit of movement in there. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got some space up here to like maybe have some sort of like power going through her hand. I don't know. And then her hair, her hair is going to be out like this cutting into, right? We're gonna have that hair out like that, cutting into that. And then this other piece is gonna be here. That looks pretty cute. That looks pretty dang cute. Let's go ahead and move it over just a tad. Maybe she can be right there. Yeah, because now she's on a third and we can have her, this is gonna work really nicely because her eyes are gonna be looking back like this. Yeah, that looks really nice. Looks like a nice little Mika. Uh, yeah, I just dropped the anatomy smash. You're right, basic NP. Thank you for noticing. It's because of the power of Incrediware. Maglevies. So there we go. And you can see that. Look, see, look at that nice anatomy, right? That's a great way to get started. And fear not, we'll be going in there and refining it even further. 
just showing you how I get started, how I don't really commit to anything, right? You're kind of in the, you're in the dating phase. You want to think about it. In this point of the sketching, you don't want to commit to anything. You're just looking around, seeing what's out there. All right, but now I'm to the point where I'm very happy with what's going on here. And uh, I now need to ask myself, this is the point where I'm saying, is there a way that we can salvage this? Is there a way that we can salvage this? Because this has so much cool texture in it. It's got a lot of really cool values already working inside of it. Um, but here's the thing is like, can I replicate those textures in the new Mika? You know, those are the things that are going through my head right now. Part of me does say I want to preserve this line art as much as possible. So let's go ahead and kick that up to 100% and let's go ahead and create a new layer. And what we're going to begin doing is we are going to basically tweak the brightness contrast on this. If I can remember how to do that. Otherwise, we're not going to do that at all. <laughs> Maybe we'll just go to Photoshop or something. Now, I do want to try to, to make this in Photoshop. Whatever. We're just going to go ahead and paint over top of this. New layer like this. And we're just going to go ahead and begin painting over top of everything. Unless it lags like that then. In which case, we're not going to do anything. There we go. It's catching up now. There we go. Doesn't seem to like that. How about this brush? Oh, it likes this brush much more. So I'm just going to paint out this face because the face is what I liked. We'll keep that face. Cool. All right. That looks good to me. Looks really good to me. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the pencil. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do is actually just redo these lips. I wasn't a fan of these lips. Whoop, just like that, they're gone. Create a new layer. And let's go ahead and draw in some new lips because there are some lips that I like and some lips that look more like Mika's. At this point, uh, I'm pulling up my reference over here. I've got my little Instagram. This is why I love Instagram and I love the internet because at any point when I need reference, it's almost faster for me to just find it online than it is to try to like dig through my folders and stuff. And one of my favorite personal Mika faces was this one. I really like this one right here. So I'm going to be referencing that as we go. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just clip that or snip that. Maybe bring it over so that way you guys can know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go ahead and hold on. Let me grab the snipper tool. The snipper tool. Oh gosh, what have I done? Let's try that again. Snipping tool. Grabbing that face. Copy that face. And paste that face. Okay, we're back. Uh, yeah, this is the cutest Mika face that's ever been created, so we're going to try to replicate this. Yeah, it's already pretty close. It's already pretty close. I want to make some adjustments on the nose as well. I'm just going to redo all of this. And again, we don't have to commit to anything because we're just erasing and trying new things. I kind of like where that nostril is, though. That nostril could work. Okay, so let's go here and let's begin throwing in. So her uh, her nose would look something more like this. So she's got that. And then on her lips, I want to get them looking. I, I just love drawing lips. Lips is so much fun because you can do stuff like this. So you got a little bit of that going. And then maybe something like this. Aha! Love it. Yeah, see, that's nice. Look at all the the subtlety in that lip. It's really good. Very cute. Kind of angry, but, you know, we got a little bit more... Um, we've got more definition because we're drawing her closer than we ever have before. 
So I'm just going to kind of sketch in this shape really quick right there. That's just reminding me that there's going to be shading there. And then this eye needs to be cut off way earlier. I'm basically adjusting the bridge of the nose here. See that? Very cute, very cute. And just like that, we have Nuno's. Nuno's. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get that anatomy on here because we've got this new anatomy that we want to work with. So let's sketch it in. Lovely, lovely. Oh, so lovely. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to begin simultaneously sketching in the rest of her anatomy and then also um, trying to design what she's going to be wearing. While also trying to keep the trippy vibe that I had from before in my sketchbook. Just love trippy vibes, don't you? Especially when it comes to anime girls. Uh, let's go ahead and put this up here. Put my reference at the top. Saving as we go. I'll be taking another break here. You can just kind of click on and off to see what we're doing here. See how we're, especially right there, see how we modded the, the space of the bridge of the nose? Added some more depth in there. Looks really nice. And close this down for now. I'm going to take another quick little break. Take another quick little break. My back is acting up. So let's bust out the Vixen Antler. Okay. Let's see. Drawing and Thoughts is asking, how art thou? I'm doing quite good. Drawing Thoughts. Thank you for tuning in. Sang Create. Hey, how's it going? Uh, they're asking what we're using. Clip Studio today. Clip Studio. Marushia Dark. You're torn between working on your own stuff and watching me. You should do both. This will be up on YouTube later, so there's no pressure. Work on your own stuff right now with me, and you can watch it later. Mmm. Mmm. That feels nice. Oh! I'm feeling things pop and snap in my back that should not be popping and snapping, but... See, that's what happens when you wait too long. Don't want to wait too long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to step away and grab a quick drink as well. You can take a look at lovely Mika for the meantime. Oh! We're about to get something coming in from Samurai Slam Down or Slamurai Jam Down. I'll read that in just a moment. Slamurai. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Slamurai's asking, you talk a lot about good posture. Why don't you use standing desks? And you want to know why? It's because I, well, standing is starting to come back to me, right? It's, uh, at first I always said, I like, I hate being on my feet. My whole beginning of my life, working at the mall, selling jeans, working at the freaking theme park. I was always on my feet, freaking yelling at people saying, hey, come over to the booth. Hey, come buy these jeans. Hey, come do this. And my feet would kill me at the end of the day. So now you're telling me I have to go to work and still stand? I was like, hell no, I'm not going to do that. But then as I got older, I started to realize that, hey, I'm sitting down so much that my freaking knees are starting to hurt. And uh, yeah, there can definitely be, you know, too much of a good thing, i.e. sitting down. I love sitting down playing video games. Too much of a good thing is a bad thing. So uh, don't fall into that trap. 
Uh, why have I not gotten a standing desk? Uh, just because I, I really do enjoy sitting while I work. But I've offset it now by just going to the gym and making sure I'm staying in good shape. Uh, making sure I'm doing good leg exercises, getting out gives me a good reason to go out and walk. On the weekends, I love to go on hikes, go meditate in the mountains or whatever. Meditate underneath the bonsai tree. So yeah, that's why I haven't gotten a standing desk. All right, so I'm thinking uh, I want to reference my actual sketch in here because there was something kind of cool going on with the dress that I was making for Mika in here. This is the original sketch. I'm going to kind of reference that. Here, I can go ahead and put that up right there. Original sketch, check it out. This was done on the beach. Chilling on the beach. Uh, and I like some things that are happening within this dress because one of my favorite things is that it looks like it's just made out of like organic materials. And uh, it just looks really weird and awesome. So I'm going to try to replicate kind of what was going on in the original dress. So we've got this kind of neck piece going out like this. And maybe we'll have something like that. I'm going to go ahead and just erase this away, erase this stuff away. And we are going to begin constructing a new dress. So I'm thinking maybe something like this, something like that looks good. Yeah, it looks really, really cute. Okay, so I imagine that she will have, she's gonna have some sort of epaulets or something that kind of goes up the armpit like this. And then there will be uh, ruffles going through here. I have learned about ruffles. I learned about how to create interesting looking ruffles. Watch the lines. Witness my ruffles, people. Witness my ruffles. You want to create a little wavy line like this. And then boom, you're done. See? Easy. Another one like this. I find that this shape works really well with ruffles. See that? Ugh. This looks so nice. This looks so, so nice. And then they kind of just like repeat themselves, kind of going back and forth. It's a lot more of an interesting ruffle design. And then what I want is, I want this to kind of come together, maybe like this this i'm just messing around with clothes right now maybe we can do something oh oh i know what we can do i know what we can do so let's go ahead and do this type of thing do this maybe we'll have subtle boob windowage for mika subtle boob windowage even though she's gonna be standing right there i don't know if that's gonna work but it's worth a shot let me go up like that. And again, keep in mind our seam lines there. Looks pretty cute already. I like that. And then she can be standing right there. Maybe bring that down a little bit. That needs to go like that. It's drawn like a tie. I imagine maybe she has like, this outfit isn't gonna make complete sense. Uh, I'm not too worried about that just yet. I'm just kind of drawing in lines and seeing how they work on her. This music is so uplifting. I just feel like I'm gonna launch into the stratosphere and meet my maker. <laughs> Become one with the universe. And you know what? I don't feel like that right now, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the coffee shop. All right. We are gonna go ahead and add in these bangs. 
Where's our cute Mika face? Mika, get your cute face over here. Get your cute face over there, maybe. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and draw dat on. Oh! Wow. Wow. Oh, it looks... It looks genius. It looks genius and beautiful. I love it. So, I'll sketch that in. You know, I find it so funny how much more comfortable I am doing line art like this in my sketchbook. I really see my, I foresee myself doing something where I'm working in my sketchbook and then it just kind of becomes my thing where I do the lines in my sketchbook and then I'll do colors in like Photoshop or something. Cause this is kind of nice, but it doesn't compare to the stuff that I can do in my sketchbook. My sketchbook, everything just has so much more of an organic feeling to it, and I do miss it. So who knows? We might add that to the stream at a later date. But so far, that looks so cute. Look at how cute that is. And then we can have, ooh, we can have skin right there. She'll have her shoulder showing through. In fact, if we really wanted to push it, because the shoulder goes up like that, Maybe we show more of the shoulder. So what I'm gonna do is control C, control V. I'm gonna redo these ruffles. You're gonna be like, ah, no. Don't get committed. Don't get committed, that's the problem. Everybody's getting way too committed to stuff. They're committing and they should be just in their little dating phase, okay? Don't commit until you know that that drawing is gonna treat you well, okay? So many people are just freaking putting rings on their sketches before they're even ready. And it just makes me sick. Okay, as a rule of thumb on my line art, you can see here I like to stay thick on the outside, thin on the innards. Okay, so thick on the outside for this kind of, uh, for anything on the silhouette. See how we got those thick lines going. And I'm about ready to say sayonara to our old sketch. Lovely. Let's combine. Let's do some combining. I'm going to go ahead and group these. Usually what I like to do is control C, control V. That is going to get deleted. I don't like that music at all. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see here. We need to also make sure they're being good little boys and girls. And we need to check and make sure that we can still drop her on there. So we're gonna merge these layers, merge selected layers. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, why is that not working? Why is... Oh. Oh. So this is all like just black and white. And I'm going to show you guys how I would go about coloring this in a moment. I'm gonna, I kinda want some lace patterning to be on here. Oh, that would be really nice. Some lace patterning to be on this. Yeah, so it kinda looks like this. And it goes up like that. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's just so lovely. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I might just end up nixing the boob window. Yeah, because look at where Mika needs to stand. Mika needs to stand right there. So. So we might have to say goodbye. Goodbye. I usually tend to think, yeah, Mika, well, 
A couple of the dresses I've drawn her in have boob windows. I tend to think of Mika as more like she wears like the ruffles and then she's got the legs with the with the tights on. But uh, yeah, I think I'm tending to favor that a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and nix that and let's try something else. I'm going to make this just flat fabric. flat fabric that goes up like this. Oh. Oh, that's much more much more better. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And then we'd have shadows that are coming through like this. Yeah. That feels more right. Feels more writer. And then this can go like that. Thank you for subscribing. Lulin, thank you for subscribing. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And you can see how I'm always like, see how I could draw the tie like this? Like say I drew a tie, right? How do you draw a tie? Like this, right? That's a tie. But you want to start thinking in terms of like three dimensions. Like what happens when that tie turns upwards? What would it look like? So now you have something like this. And then, see, now that tie actually has like a little fold in it and it has three dimensions. Much more interesting than a, a simple flat tie. So uh, that's my best advice to you. Try it out for yourself. See how you like it. Okay, see how you like it. Looks real cute. Uh, however, her body is looking kind of strange. That needs to be more like that. There we go. This music reminds me of like Persona 5. Do you guys get that feeling? There's like something in Persona 5 that has like this really chill, jazzy vibe to it. I do really want to play Persona sometime, but today is not that day. It'll be break time in just another moment here. You see, we're to this point where I'm like, okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. We've got some cool layers happening. We've got some cool shapes that are ready to be expanded upon. But uh, now we need to figure out what's going to happen. What's going to happen with Mika on uh, while well, she's standing on herself, basically. We must figure that out. I really want to be able to just play this on my guitar. That would be really fun. I do like designing fashion. Designing fashion is quite fun. Especially like, I, like not even fashion for myself. I'm like designing like gothic made Lolita stuff. It makes no sense, but I don't know. I tend to like to draw things that are far away from what I am. So I'm already familiar with like dude clothing and Baja hoodies. Although I would love to draw a character in a Baja hoodie. That would be really fun. Yeah, I like drawing things that are out of my comfort zone. Out of my realm. Alright. Let's lower this down in opacity and save. Oh. Oh, she looks really cute. Very, very cute. Already upon just taking a quick break, I can tell that this needs to be increased in size, I think. Or at least just give it a try. Yeah. Yeah, her body was looking a little small. Hmm. Maybe not. 
Uh, I think that looks fine. Yeah, actually, you know what? That looks really cute. Looks really, really cute. So I'm gonna do a quick little thing here and I'm gonna show you the things that I'm liking about this. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm just gonna grab another layer. So here's the things that I'm liking about this so far. Uh, the face is looking good. Lips, mm, I'm like, I'm like, uh, what's his name? Not Cusco, but the other guy, Pacha. I'm like, those lips sing, baby. Those lips sing. And you know what else sings? This cheek right here, that looks beautiful. Uh, I really like how this curve goes right into that curve. So we're creating interesting silhouettes. See how we've got this going? And look at that, flipping us up, going right back onto the face. There's a lot of cool flow that's happening within this piece. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, however, we know the next challenge is going to be getting Mika to stand upon herself. Where, where is she? There she is. Yeah, see, so there we go. Now we've got this and we can kind of turn this a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, break time. Uh, 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 wayward Seth, you like my cross hatching? Thank you, I stole it from somebody else, but I'm not telling you who. <laughs> uh, let's see. Random hater. Hey, Keenan, today I tried to draw something, but every time I felt like it wasn't good enough and just got frustrated. Yeah, well, why are you committing? You don't like it? Tell it sayonara. That drawing isn't treating you well in that relationship? Say sayonara. Go find another drawing. Start a new one. What I'm always doing, this is what I always tell you guys. Get in your sketchbook. I mean, I'm doing stuff like this. Oh, this is a perfect example. Perfect example. Oh my gosh, Husky. How do you guys do that right as I switch the thing? <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay, well, I'm gonna do it like this now. Husky, thank you so much for the 229 super chat. It means a lot. They're saying, hey, made a made of metal fan art. Please see it. Uh, I would love to. Is it on your Instagram? If it is, I'll check it out later. Thanks. Thank you, Husky. Uh, my girlfriend is modding, so make sure you type in your at Instagram if you haven't already, and she and I will both check it out, and I'll definitely give it a like. Really? Okay, is there a way that you can send me that fan art? Okay, post it in the chat, because uh, I'll be happy to pull it up on stream. Thank you so much, Husky. But uh, as I was saying, oh yeah, don't get committed. Don't get committed. Look at these other drawings I was working on. See, see this? Look at that face. Look at that abomination of a face. And you know what? I said, you know what? You're not working well. This relationship, it, we're calling it off, okay? I'm gonna go date some other sketches. And then I did this one. See, so things don't always turn out like they should. The important thing is, is that as soon as you are going down a road where you're just like, I'm not really feeling this anymore. Just chuck it out the window. Start again. We're going to go ahead and pull up this uh, awesome fan art that you did, Husky. We're going to check it. Oh my god, this looks cool. Holy shoot, man. <laughs> I would definitely say something else, but this is a PG-30. This is an all-ages stream. Holy shoot, that is... They look so cute. Husky. That's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna like that. And I'll comment too. Thank you, Husky. I love you. There you go. That's for you, Husky. Thank you for making this beautiful fan art. Wow, I really love the this uh, blue from the ambience on their skin. Really, really cute. I love how you drew Mika's face. Is great profile on that. Mocha looks great too. Oh, I love. Oh. And she has her arm and the knife around Mocha's. <laughs> it's around her shoulder. Oh, that just made my day. Thank you, Husky. Thank you, Husky. <laughs> oh, I knew today was going to be a good day. And that was why I was just waiting on you to send that Husky. So thank you. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think I'm about ready to get back into drawing Mika's body. And uh, with that, oh yeah, let me go ahead and pull up Tet Instagrams again. 
because I need Mika's body proportions. And you know where we're going to get that? Right there. It was too much of a pain in the butt to clip it, so you guys will just have to know that this is on my other screen. That's what I'm referencing. Mika's uh, proportions there. In fact, we can uh, make this look even better because this is why I upload my process because look, see, we've got like the process versions. You can actually see the lines of her body even more clearly. So I'm probably going to use that on the other screen. And if you're not following me on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, then I would first ask, are you okay? And then I would tell you to go follow me at Keenan underscore Lafferty on Instagram. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get back into this. Let's get on back into this. Uh, let's make sure we're on the right camera. Ah, many times I'll be like, all right, let's get back to drawing. And I'll be drawing like this, right? But it's on the wrong camera. But not today. We're riding the good energy wave today. And I say, let's keep it up. Oh, you got 500 people in here. Good thing my X split glitches out and it doesn't show me. Because if I knew there were 500 people in here with all their eyes on me, I would be very nervous. But luckily, I don't. So let's go ahead and get into drawing Mika. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and lower this down even further. And we're going to focus on Mika herself. Let's just double check, make sure that she's actually going to be able to stand on herself. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. That's going to work. That is awesome. Let's get to it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom in on this. This is going to get dropped down to like near nothing. And then we're going to sketch over top of this. Let's grab a new color. Let's grab like Mika pink. Mika pink. That looks good. And this is nice high res. Nice and high res. We're basically drawing a new character within here. So this is how I like to construct Mika's face and her whole body. So we'll start with that. And then we do the little chin shape like this. Um, I usually try to not worry about facial stuff uh, like in this stage. In fact, it kind of messes me up if I have the, the previous face measurements in there because I know what Mika's face is supposed to look like. I know. I know. So that bottom line right here where that circle goes, I know that her nose is kind of within this area. It's just above that, right? And then we're going to have uh, this cheek is going to go back. We're going to get some additional depth on this area. And I'm going to try to replicate that face in the back, but I'm not too concerned about it, right? So we're going to have her lips go like this. So that looks kind of nice. Kind of nice. And let's go ahead and get those eyes in. I know the eyes in are right about the... In fact, I find what works well is when you're sketching, make your line as small as possible. I think that's kind of what helps to replicate what I'm doing in my sketchbook. So I know that Mika's eyes, like the top of them, is at that center point of the circle, of that sphere. So there's our center point of the face. Center point of the circle is about where the tops of her eyes are. Okay, see, look at that. And then we go over like this. I'm kind of gauging the size of that, uh, you know, of her nose. And we're going to go ahead and go like this. And then her eyes are kind of open too. So maybe her eyes are going to look something more like this. And she's going to have some crazy eyelashes, okay? Crazy, crazy eyelashes. This eye needs to move over more. Get it something more like this. And then her eyebrows are going to be there and there looks good now time for the hair Mika's hair is pretty dang fun because it kind of looks like this I like to think about it in terms of like crazy big shapes so maybe something like this oh yeah see how it's like 3d I'm thinking about how it's like reaching up it's like touching her forehead and then kind of waving out like that Okay, and then we've got this bang, which comes down like this, it kind of breaks up the, the shape of the face, looks really nice. And then this is going to go like this. And 
And then actually I imagine the wind because I don't want this to obscure the mouth too much. So maybe we'll have something like this. We're gonna go ahead and just drop it like this. Looks okay, but uh, I'm gonna keep messing around with this. Oh yeah, and I need to reference this other face too, because there's things about this face that I'm liking that I don't want to lose. Hampton from Photoshop, you miss like liquify. Hampton Mosley, great question. Thank you for the super chat. Is there anything I missed from Photoshop? Yeah, just the general familiarity of it. I tend to kind of muck about on Clip Studio. I haven't gotten the feeling of all the tools down yet, but I'm learning and getting better as we go. And speaking of that, these eyes are way, way too high. This is not Mika's face. This is a failure of Mika's face. So you know what I do? You think I'm a good little boy and I redraw that? Nope. Just grab that entire thing. We're going to slap it on down. Love it. Then this, I'm going to redraw. I will redraw her lips. You think I'm a good little boy? No, that was where you messed up. Okay, so now that we've got a face that we kind of like, I'm going to kind of fiddle around with this. There we go. And now let's go ahead and continue on to the body. So watch how I go ahead and construct this body. So it's like, there's my, there's my shoulders. And then I know that's going to connect right to the chest like this. See, there we go. See, we're reconstructing everything on the fly. Easy, easy peasy. There we go. That looks good. For girls' hips, I like to do this. I like to think of it kind of like a mannequin. So it's like, imagine they're wearing like a swimsuit like this. And then right out of there, right, there's your lips. Right out of there is where the leg is gonna come from. And then legs, I've learned, I've learned how to draw some good legs, guys. About to show you right here. So legs, the way I like to do them is like this. So I used to do this thing where the leg kind of did this S shape like this, and then I kind of like did one of these. And that's okay, but there's some more detail that could be added in there. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and erase this. It's mostly on this inner edge. So actually you're gonna think about it as three bumps. So I'm gonna exaggerate. I'm gonna go one, two, three, like that. See, ooh, nice. Nice quads, Mika, you've been doing some squats. So those bumps are going to exist, but in a very, very subtle form. So here's bump one, here's bump two for the knee, and then bump three looks like that. See, and now you have, oh, it looks so beautiful. Such beautiful, nice long legs. Those legs might be a little bit too long. And then the way I like to think about it is either, which part of it, oh yeah. So the ankle goes out like this, and then you have, your shoe okay and that foot looks like it's broken let's fix that oh there we go now let's do the same thing over here so we're gonna go one two right there's a little bump there for the knee right the knee is actually a muscle and it is believe it or not the knee has muscles on it and what you draw there is very important So one, two, and three. Look at those cool legs. Isn't that great? Now, uh, the question is coming up. Is that the pose that I want? Again, I could totally just take this thing and throw it out the window and start over again. Because there's a couple things that I'm liking and some things that I'm not liking. One of them is that she looks a little off balance. Also, her proportions are not 100%. 
So what we're going to do is Control C, Control V. I'm going to try again. But see how I just constructed that body. Constructed the body and it looks okay. But now what I want to do is I want to get in there and I really want to fiddle around with. Is that the only way that she could pose her legs? Let's erase everything and start over again. Oh, I see what else is bothering me. This head needs to be way further back. Because she, she needs to look proud, right? She's, she's staring us down, right? She ain't afraid of nothing. She ain't afraid of nothing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to redo the eyes as well. Because she's going to be kind of mad at us. She's going to be a little bit mad at us. then we need to figure out what her headdress is going to look like. I imagine it'll kind of come forward like this and it'll have a fan type of thing that sticks off of it like that. Kind of reminds me of, uh, at least this style reminds me of something from maybe Bloodborne. Might be a little too crazy of a visor. Maybe we try something that goes backwards. Or maybe it'll just be a simple hairband like this because I don't want to put crazy things happening up here because then it's going to mess with our face. It's going to mess with our other face, right? Also, I'm noticing another thing that I did better on this face. This thing has way more depth on it. So this whole cheek needs to come forward. This is so important, guys. The depth of your faces makes a huge, huge difference. So we're basically taking the muzzle and we're moving it forward. Maybe something like this. Yeah, that looks good. See how much more attitude there is in that? Subtleties, my friends, subtleties. I'm about ready to take another break in a second here, so bear with me. You know what? I actually really like that. I like how there's like a, a thing going there. She almost like has these horns coming out the side. That's really fun. Let's go ahead and get ourselves. I need a hard eraser. Where's my hard eraser? Rough eraser. Oh, yes. It's much better. A little bit of lip right there. I think that looks okay. I'm always so picky with my with my lips. And but I'm not worrying too much about it because again, remember, this Mika is like that big on the canvas. So we need to consider is that face going to be readable? Is that face going to be readable when it's on Instagram and it's that tiny? You know? So that's another reason why I will say here the more important thing that we need to be focusing on is actually the pose. So let's go ahead and continue with that. Let's continue with the pose. So what I'm thinking we need here is we need a little bit of freaking sassiness. We need some sassiness in this pose. And the way you get sassiness is like this. You kick one hip out like this, and it's gonna go down like that. You're gonna have the, you're basically gonna have this type of thing going on. So that goes down here, like that. See what I'm doing? We got some sassiness coming in from Mika. So I'm thinking I want this leg to go back like that. And then maybe she'll be standing about like that maybe. Eh, it looks okay. I'm gonna try again. I like what's happening with this hip, but we need to make it work a little bit better. So I'm thinking this hip is basically taking on all of the weight. So we're going to have something like this, right? That's balancing. And this can go out 
Like that, maybe. And then maybe she's on point there. Cool. And then this other hand maybe can just be kind of chilling. Maybe it's kind of maybe back a little bit. Something like that, I think. This is pose number two. Pose number two, pretty cool, pretty cute. Looks cute. Doesn't look like it's in good perspective, but the general thing is looking really nice. Hi Keenan, just got off work and am glad to see another stream. I'm currently using your latest makeups D as a quick reference for my current work. Oh, Robert, thank you. Thank you for the $5 super chat. You just got off work and the first thing you say is you got to watch my stream. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. And you just, you went to work, you, you made cash. You decided to give me that cash. I don't know what kind of person does that, but you are my favorite person ever. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for supporting me and my art. It means a lot. And I'm glad that my work could help you, uh, inspire you with your own personal work. All righty. Um, so this is looking pretty good. So that's pose two. So see how this one, it's okay, but she's just kind of standing out. I love the shape on those legs. See how much like subtlety and awesomeness, awesomeness there is here with those legs, we're definitely not losing that. We got this nice, cool, thick calf, and then we got that bump there for the knee. Good stuff. So see, there's something to be learned with each experiment that you do. Uh, but we gotta make this work. So I'm thinking that this leg needs to come forward a little bit more. In fact, you know what? I think we could probably steal. Yes, we can, we can steal this leg. So let's just go ahead and steal that leg. Let's go ahead and slap it on there. Oh! Uh! Oh, I love that. I love that. So she's like stepping forward. Yeah, she's like stepping forward on herself. And the other leg is kind of going back. Oh, looks great. Looks really nice. Okay, so this other leg is going to go back like this. Yeah, I dig it. Thank you for the sub. Oh, I cannot read that name, but thank you for the sub. Okay, so remember our, remember our technique. It's one bump, two bump at the knee. Let this go back, three bump. And then this toe is gonna be on point. Thank you for the sub. That knee needs to come up a little bit more. There we go. We got sassy Mika up in here. Let's go ahead and drop this up like that. And then this, I'm basically drawing in the edges of the rib cage and just figuring out where the edges of this costume are gonna go. Cause she's got this type of stuff going on. She's got pieces flying off everywhere. This kind of reminds me of Ashar's outfit, actually. Ashar has these like petals. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. This leg, however, I like that it's like kind of locked, but I kind of want it to be like maybe back like this, something like that. Can I distort this? Does that work? Can I warp it? Distort. Oh no, that's not distort. I need to... Hmm. I thought there was a way to like kind of put a grid on it, but I guess not. Let's just kind of move it like this. Whoops. See, does it look good like that? 
think it looks best like that. Let's move it over here. I'm gonna grab this and scoot it up. Oh yeah, actually her leg can be doing that because it's not, she's on point here. And then, yeah, that actually works. That works perfectly. All right. And then this is freaking trippy Mika. So her hair can basically be all kinds of craziness, right? When Mika goes trippy mode, her hair ceases to make sense. Something like that looks nice. Gets long, it gets flowy. It gets looking really nice, really nice. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. Her legs are small though. Leg shape I like, size I don't. Her legs are about, she is pretty short, but her legs are supposed to be a little bit bigger than that. Like, like that looks good. And now another thing that I'll do is I'll kind of draw in the shadows. Like imagine she's actually standing on herself. How would those shadows have to be oriented, right? In order for this to work. Thinking that looks good. I'm gonna move this hair just ever so slightly here. Maybe something like that would work. It's looking good. It's looking really nice. <laughs> uh, I am going to take another break. Let us break. Because this is the point where we need to look at everything. This is the point where we need to massage ourselves. Get ourselves in a good mood. We might be struggling. You could be struggling at this point. And I urge you, if you're struggling with your sketches, you're struggling on a piece, take a moment. Take a hot second. Take a hot second. Hang on. I'm going to mess with this really quick. I'm going to try to transform this. Can I transform this? Mesh transformation. There we go. So what I want is I want this. Move this back. Man, this is, this is definitely not as nice as Photoshop's. This sucks by comparison. <laughs> it's like a freaking joke. Freaking joke by comparison. There we go. That's what I wanted your leg to do. So let's go ahead and look back and forth. Head also needs to be shrunk. Mm, let's see here. I'm gonna mess around a little bit more with this. Move this up a tad. There we go. Let's kind of clean up these legs. Clean up the legs. Cute! All right, it's break time. Antler time. Oh. <laughs> oh, Kuya is asking an interesting question. How much time did I spend on research while I worked on splash art? Especially when I didn't know anything about the setting, coming up with background elements. Uh, the nice thing about splash art is that most of the time you just had to focus on the character and then the background was kind of like 
you just had to like put in values and then that slowly kind of turned into something you could like turn it into a structure or something but as far as like research probably the biggest research we were doing was just taking photos of ourselves so that way we could have you know nice dynamic angles and anatomy reference <laughs> Kuma is it okay to take a long time on a sketch I, I don't even understand the question like why not you should be able to take as long as you want on the sketch <laughs> what if it's taking you too long to finish again if if it's not turning out the way that you want it to and you've got another idea then yeah don't don't be committed to it chuck it out the window start over again start a new one and then here's the thing this happens all the time I'll start a new sketch and then I will go back to a previous one and I'll be like, oh, okay. Well, now that I have these two to compare to, I like the old one and then I'll just go back to the old one. So worst case scenario, you're just getting yourself more options. Having a hard time turning shapes into an actual object? Don't worry, it just takes time. You need to start thinking in 3D. You need to start thinking about like, how does this work? Not only in 3D, but then where's the camera and how's the perspective working? There's a lot to keep in mind. And you can see even me, myself, it's like, it takes me a little while. It takes me a while and it doesn't always turn out good. But I wanted you guys to see my full process. Chrissy's asking an interesting question. Advice for an artist who's afraid of changing work process? Uh, why would you have to? Why do you need to change your work process? Is it for a new job? Because if so, then you better learn quick. That's what I would say. Because oftentimes there's better ways you can be doing stuff. And if the people, like, if your process is better than where you're working or whoever you're working for, then you should be willing to, you know, stand up for your own process too. Random is asking, what do I draw when I have no idea what to draw? I always have an idea of what to draw. It, like, I, as soon as I'm working on this Mika piece, I've got five other things that I want to be doing. I think it's more, uh, it's not lack of ideas. I think it's lack of motivation. And you get motivation by, I've shown you guys this, get your references, start doing research, get things on the page, right? Even if it's just one reference. Just the fact that I have this one Mika face I can already see how it's different. I can see how these faces are different. And we're gonna get in there and we're gonna freaking fix that right now. Cause that is unacceptable. So, let's go whoop, like that. Look at how much cuter this face is. It's much cuter than that. But yeah, get yourself some motivation by getting reference. You know what I'm gonna do with this whole face? Delete the entire thing. We're gonna start this whole freaking thing over again. And notice, see, do I seem mad? Do I seem angry? Well, I mean, I, I do seem angry, but I'm being dramatic, right? When I'm just by myself, I'm like, eh, don't like that face, I'm gonna try again. Cause I want this giant piece that comes down like that. And then I got this, I got this. Okay, so here's where I effed up. Here's where I effed up. I'm just gonna kind of trust in myself here and I'm gonna throw in those lips where I actually see them. So her lips are right there. Her nose is right there. I do want to capture a bit of what this face is behind too. So I'm simultaneously trying to capture this face right here, but then also keep an eye out. Oh, her, the bridge of her nose goes way out like that. Oh, oh, I fail at drawing my own characters. But that is A-OK. -okay. It's okay to fail at drawing your own characters. This might be a failure in itself. But we know we go across like this, and then we're going up like this. So that's looking a little better. 
The chin and cheek, though, not a fan. Not a fan of those chin and cheek. And now watch, as I finish this, as I finish this, now we have something else to reference. So that's looking cuter, but now let's compare it to the old one. Yeah, We're, see how subtle of a difference it is? But that one looks much more like Mika. However, I liked how the other one's eyes were a little bit more open. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do that just by raising, right? We're just raising this top eyelid open like that. And then we're allowing more of her iris to show. See how the roundness of her iris? As soon as we do that, now she seems like her eyes are open. She's more intense. And then I want these eyes to be these eyes to be something like this. And then this chin is also much more forward. Much like this one. Yeah, look at how far that chin is. I think it's mega far forward. So you've got something more like this on Mika. Cool. Yeah. Close, but not quite there. Not quite there just yet. I realize I'm getting really hot we're going to take a short break. I'm going to grab a drink. I'm going to grab a drink and then we're going to get back to this. That looks really cute though. I'm really digging that. I'll be right back. Don't super chat right now. It won't show up. It was supposed to be cold around these parts. That was supposed to be cold around these parts. Mm. Man, I am mega orange. Good thing the background's orange too. I'm taking a break. Uh, Quisty, <laughs> watch one of your past streams. The one where I drew Yucko and Hollow Knight. <laughs> And I was wondering, what are your thought process when creating small thumbnails? Uh, just draw as many as you can. I'm thinking about like uh, relationships, like see how there's a small Mika on top of the big Mika. You wanna think about composition, relationships, give people something interesting to look at. Scale is a big thing. So if you can draw like a huge anime girl up here and then a smaller one, you get to see the whole body, you get to see the full whatever, uh, like, what is it? Outfit. You get to see the full outfit too. Uh, that's really nice. It's really nice. Super Polo. What exactly is made of metal? I dig all the drawings, but what is it exactly? A comic? A universe? A movie? It's uh, whatever it needs to be. It's just characters. 
and I like to do fan art of him, and I like to make music about it. But yeah, right now it's it's just drawings. It's like a series, I guess, if you wanted to nail it down to something. It's just a series. All right, and just like that, we're getting back into it, people. Hmm. How long are we going for? Uh, oh, only an hour and a half. Nice. I'm feeling like uh, maybe at least a three-hour stream. Squoozy. Art, what did you just do? You clearly typed in the wrong numbers because you just sent me 20 bucks. Thank you, Squoozy. <laughs> I hope that was not a mistake. But they are saying... Last super chat for a little while. Just lost my job of five years, and though I'm really stressed, your streams help me find peace. So I Dude. must thank you. Bright side is I have plenty of time to create art now. Aw, Squeezy. smiley face. I wish the buns well. Squeezy, you just lost your job and you're sending me 20 bucks? Come on. There's plenty of people in this chat that have jobs that aren't sending me crap. You should be keeping that money. Go spend it on yourself. But thank you for... Sending it to me it really means a lot. Okay, just for you, Squoozy. Just for you. Just for you. We're going to continue this, and we're going to make this amazing. And I'm going to dedicate this to you. Uh, but yeah, that is a real bummer to hear that you lost the job. But with a lost job comes, I know it sounds cheesy, but it's always new opportunities. There are new opportunities. Sometimes... Stuff happens, and then you got to figure out what to do. And when you're forced to figure out what to do, you might be surprised. You may find yourself in a better position sooner than you think. So I wish you luck, Squoozy. And in the meantime, while you're dealing with the post-trauma of losing said job, please feel free to hang out here with me on stream and know that I'm here for you. All right. So we got to do some fun stuff here and we got to make up what Mika's wearing. What is she going to be wearing? I would like to have, so I'm thinking, yeah, Gothic Lolita, but then we got to make this thing like made out of like some HR Giger alien looking organic stuff. Like it, it shouldn't make full sense. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's concept this. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. We now have something that works here. And now we can just focus on Mika. Now we can just focus on Mika. So you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, my friend who is a 3D modeler, he works in VR, he taught me this thing where he's like, when you wanna work on detail, he says you should be up -resing. You should be making things bigger. And yeah, you can zoom in, but this is 100%. I still need a little bit more space to work with. So what we're going to do is we are going to actually just up -res this. We're going to control C, control V. We need additional DPI. Because what we can do is we can always, this is now essentially a piece in itself. Because once we're done, we can always just shrink it back down to where it was, right? But right now we need to figure this out. Need to get this down. So let's go ahead and sketch in some general ideas for what her costume is going to look like. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and lower this down, create a new layer. Let's darken this. So what I'm thinking here is let's, I'd, I'd love to draw like some ruffles happening. So like maybe something like this, you know, so I want this thing to be blowing in the wind. Right, so what I start with is usually just like the actual ruffles, right? I'll start with the line that determines what these ruffles are gonna look like. So something like this. And then she is a maid, so let's have like, I'm, I'm thinking big shapes, right? I'm thinking big shapes because this needs to read from a small size. So she'll have this apron thing going on. And 
And then maybe this will come up like that. Big old bow. She's got big old bow. Big old ribbons coming off of this. Ribbons maybe going like this and like that, out like that. And those ribbons will lead us back to our beloved girly girl. I'm going to have this going up high, right? This is a real trendy thing to do with anime, is you have the ruffles, but of course you got to have the ruffle that goes up and shows the leg, right? And have a little bit of that leg showing because we got to show the cute little stocking. Okay, we got to show her cute little stockings. Okay, so that'll be there. We'll see how that looks. It might look like crap. It might look like garbage, but we'll see. Okay, so we have the actual um what is it the actual dress but then we need to think about the petticoat underneath so that's going to be an additional layer of basically whiteness that's going to come through kind of stick out like this and i'm just going to be working with values so you might see me start doing stuff like this i'm going to create a new layer and then i'm just going to go in and jumbo cube she is a heart of gold. Oh, thank you, Jumbo Cube. Oh, you're shouting somebody else out? Holy crap, you guys are so nice. Pelo Cues on IG. Heart of gold? Is that a Demon Souls reference? If it is, I love you even more than I already did, Jumbo Cube. Uh, I will check her out. In fact, I'm pretty sure my girlfriend is checking her out as we speak. Okay, so we've got that. But see, oh, look at the cute little stocking. We got a little bit of that leg coming through. Very nice, very nice. Very nice, very nice. In fact, I wanna bring this, maybe bring this down just a little bit further. Oh, that's cute. That actually looks like a little bit of lace on there. We have a winner. Uh, but all I'm doing there is see I'm kind of laying in uh, lines and then see how I'm drawing in the flats to kind of see how that costume is going to look. See, isn't that super easy? Super cool, super easy. All right. Uh... We need to switch on over to some different musica. Different musica. Kathleen Sorby, how do you share your IG? Really easy. There's a super chat. You just type that in and then you can put your Instagram. It'll go out to everybody and it'll show up on the stream for everybody that watches this later. I get like 10,000 people looking at these streams. Wouldn't you like to be seen by 10,000 people? <laughs> I sound so full of myself. Hey, I'm just talking numbers, okay? I'm just talking data. Okay, there's some definite value there. And plus, you're also just supporting the stream. I always appreciate people that just, the fact that you want to super chat and support the stream means a lot. Um, where am I going here? Where is that? Where's dat music? Okay. Let's go to lo-fi. It's more like it. All right, uh, what is gonna be next here? I need to figure out. I've got a couple ideas here. We've got the cute skirt blow billowing in the wind. We've got, we're gonna have ruffles coming out like this. Ruffles going out like that. Ruffles going out like that. Let's go ahead and have this seam line right here. That'll look really cute on her. And then as far as her arms go, I'm thinking I kinda wanna give her like long sleeves. I kind of want to give her long sleeves so that way she has 
a bit of this going on, and then she'll have ruffles here. Yeah, I just want to see what long sleeves would look like. So to do that, I just draw on those lines, and then I go like this. Oh yeah, and if you want to be really smart with it, you can kind of do this and like leave a line. See how that creates like a little shine on there? So you can kind of gauge quickly if that's what you want to roll with. We can even erase a little bit of what was there previously. So we can have like a shan there, a little shannon right there. That eraser is not working for me. I need to find a better eraser. The only thing that I can say about Clip that I d dislike is their erasers. Their erasers are really weird. Not a big fan, not a big fan. But I'm sure that I'm just using them wrong. Okay, now for the most important part, the boots. Okay, Mika loves boots, okay? And we're not about to deny our cute little girl her boots, okay? Cute little Mika made girl. We will not deny her boots. I'm thinking something kind of like this. Watch how I draw these boots, okay? This is just without reference. I know what boots look like. At least I kind of do. Lovely. So she could have boots like this. I think those look kind of nice. And remember, the, the boots are different here because she's on point. So. We're going to see that ellipse happening. So she could have kind of like these combat looking boots. I imagine they're maybe like Doc Martens or something. That's kind of cute. Or she could have like the cute little, I don't know. She could also have heels on. Let's try that as well. Control C, Control V. I just see Mika having those types of shoes. Actually, I forget what she had in her music video. Oh yeah, in her music video, she had like these slip-on things. Slip-ons are nice because they're a little bit more dainty. Might actually look better for her. And they're simpler. I never complain about things being simpler. I think that's cool. I'm actually liking these more. Yeah, just the little slip-ons, nice and simple. When in doubt, keep it simple, stupid. Okay, I'm sure you've heard that. I like both, to be honest. I kinda, I think I'm liking the boots more. Boots are really cute. Because she's supposed to be like made of metal and boots are a lot more metal than the cutesy little frickin' Uh, slip-ons so we can do that and then let's see if she's gonna have those then maybe she should have Ooh, maybe she could have like ruffles coming out of the boots let's try that let's just try putting some ruffles out of the boots hmm nah nah let's just have him go to that Just gonna erase these pieces away. Just getting a better feel for what this is gonna look like at the end. She's got this going. She's got a headband there. Thinking with this headband, we we have a chance to do something too. But I don't want to make it too crazy. I don't want to make it too crazy. We could give her spikes. Oh, that's actually really cute. She has spikes like she did before. That feels pretty dang metal to me. Oh, and I just realized this, that, that stocking needs to be more like that. <laughs> Arty gamers asking, any ideas on how to confess your love to your crush? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help but see that. That's super funny, Artie. Uh, I can definitely tell you what not to do. 
do not draw a picture of them. I know you're going to think, oh, I'm an artist. If I draw a picture of them, they're going to love it. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's like the quickest way for someone to not like you. It's just a little too much. It's too much too fast. It's like imagine you go up to a girl and say, hey, I really like you. And then you immediately like start putting your arms around and trying to hug them and kiss them. It's like it's too intimate. A drawing is very, very intimate. You save that. Save that for like maybe date two or three, right? But to confess your love to your crush, you got to... You gotta be a little more subtle with it, okay? Be a little bit more subtle. Oh yeah, yeah. See, after <laughs> this is what you do, date two or three. See, there you go. It's like, hey, I drew a picture of you, <laughs> and uh, it worked because it wasn't the first thing that I did. Okay. Thanks for bringing that, cutie. <laughs> she has it right by the bed, and I see it every day. It's very nice. Okay, but yeah, confessing your love to your crush. Okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Don't do it at a football game. Don't do it anywhere. I think the best way for you to do it is you need to figure out a way to get where they are in doing the things that they like to do. Uh, if you're not a part of their friend group or if they're not a part of your friend group where you're seeing them, you know, on a, on a daily or like a regular basis, then uh, figure out if they're like in a club or figure out if they're at like some sort of gathering, you know, somewhere where you could run into them. Public places work really well. Because there you can be, you know, public places are always a lot more safe. Get you, get you feeling good. You know? Best place to confess your love to someone is a place where they feel safe and a place where they can, you know, because heads up. Just because you like someone doesn't mean they're going to like you back. In fact, most of the time they won't like you back. So you just got to be ready for that. But yeah, like I met Jalay at a comic book convention. It's a great place to go. Uh, oh, also, yeah. Um, best thing to do is for dinner dates or like asking somebody on a date, I would recommend, yeah, somewhere public, Somewhere that doesn't cost a lot of money, right? Don't take them out to the fancy dinner. That's not date one. Date one is the grocery store. That's what you do. You say, hey, uh, you seem pretty cool. We should hang out sometime. That's what you do. Don't say that you like them. Don't say that you have feelings for them. Just, you know, bring it up in conversation sometime when you're talking to them, you know? You just say, hey, you seem pretty cool. We should hang out sometime. And then see what they say. If they say yes, that means they like you too. Or at least they are interested. And then you take them to the grocery store and say, hey, date one, you think we're going to Disneyland? You think I'm taking you to the movies? Boring. Don't go to the movies. Movies are the worst. They're the worst first date ever. Because you're forced to just sit there awkwardly and stare at a movie screen. You don't know what the contents of that movie is going to be. It's like, and you're like trying to make some freaking moves in the movie theater. It just doesn't work. Okay. Go to, oh, museums work well. Go to things where you can talk about things. If you're going to watch a movie, then do it at like, uh, I don't know. Like movies are just bad. Go to places where you can talk amongst yourselves. Go to a museum. Go to like a freaking science center. Go to the grocery store. And at the grocery store, you're picking up food, right? Because you're like, hey, we're going to make something together. Hey, let's pick out a recipe and make something together. It's infinitely more interesting than sitting, staring at a thing, trying to stick your arm, right? You're trying to do one of these, right? Don't do that. Don't be that person. Again, that's what you do second, third, fourth date if things are going well. Because at that point, they're expecting you to do it. And this might be a girl. I just realized this is a girl or might be a girl asking about a guy. Uh, same thing goes for girls. If you like a guy, say, hey, you seem pretty cool. You should hang out sometime. That's my best pickup line for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. So... Yeah, this looks really, really cute. Really, really cute. Still not 100% on this face. We're going to fix that face. So let's see, control V. I'm with me. Follow along with me. So what I'm doing here is I'm just, look, Mouths are so simple, kind of like noses, but a little goes a long way. So 
Something like that could work. Um, man, I like that. That mouth just works better. I don't know if it's just the style that I'm working in, but this is, these are the things I ponder, guys. These are the things I ponder. Like, what is the perfect anime face? And I've come to realize that there isn't a perfect one. There's different ones for just different circumstances. Because it's like, I might want to freaking bust out, you know, look at the difference between these two. You want to see something in my sketchbook? This is something I was studying recently. See these two anime faces? See, I like this one, right? I like the lips on that one. I like the general kind of feeling of this. But then there's times where this one looks better, right? The more simple one on the left. So I'm always trying to think, it's like, is there a way that I can do like the lips from one and then a nose from another and then the eyes from this other one? It's really a great area of study. But then also there is the point where you're like, I think I'm just overthinking this and let's just continue. Let's just get this done because that looks pretty nice to me. Also zooming it back really helps. Try one more mouth. I'm gonna try one more mouth and I'm gonna try to just replicate this one. Cause yeah, it's as simple as like this. Like that's Mika's mouth. And then you have the freaking lip. Like see that? I don't know how I do that. I just go and go and go until I finally get a mouth that I like. But I really like that one a lot. And then you wipe the sweat off your brow. You're like, whoo. Good thing only that needs to be seen on Instagram. You don't see the other five other faces that I drew that I didn't like. But on stream, you get to see that. So it's time for a little breaky poo. Time for a little breaky poo. And then we're going to move into final lines. We're going to move into some final lines. Because I wanted to try something else with this, uh, with this technique. And that was, I wanted to draw more. Um, I wanted to try drawing lines and then basically doing new layers. But then I also don't, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Again, that's why we're taking a break because we're trying to figure out where we're gonna go next. Think of it as you're climbing this mountain. You don't do it all in one go. You gotta take breaks. You gotta nail a freaking hammock to the side of the mountain and sleep. That's what we're doing right now. And our hammock is this antler. Arty Gamer, oh yeah, I got, I got all the advice. You guys might be surprised how much advice I have for you. <laughs> Glad that helps you out, Arty Gamer. Yeah, just remember the phrase. It's in the back of your mind. You should say, hey, you seem pretty cool. You should hang out sometime. It's so easy. It's so, so easy. Or you could be, or you could go up there and be like, hey, so I was thinking, this is usually how it goes. Hey, so, you know, I was thinking, you know, like, I, I think you're really cool. And, you know, we kind of like a lot of the same things and don't do that. It's like, you got to be freaking strong. You got to be confident. You got to look them dead in the eye and say, hey, you seem pretty cool. We should hang out sometime. If you rock that, you're going to have a good time, my friend. You're going to have a really good time. And if that person doesn't like you, trust me, somebody will. Somebody will. You lay that on them, somebody will like you. <laughs> Raw Lorenzo, why am I holding it? Because I want to. Next question. I have a gamer back. <laughs> Not only gamer back, but I was like drawing back. Like this is, this is hard work. This is a hard work. Butterbread, do I have any advice for being more organized? Yes, write it down. Next question. <laughs> Lemon Thunder, I see you're saying something about overthinking things. It drives you crazy and you need to stop doing that. Yeah, I think that there is something to be said about just go like you'll get into a flow state and everybody talks about like wanting to get in the zone with their work i find that that happens when you just kind of relax and you allow stuff to be different and like this face you can see that mika face i'm looking at it right now it's not the same exact face but it's pretty close it's close enough that it could be mika and i'm seeing things that i could do to improve it 
But again, a lot of people think that you need to rush through things and it needs to be right the first time. It's like, no, take some time. It's like you're working with digital clay. I realize now that you're never gonna have the same amount of like dexterity. You'll never have the same amount of dexterity as you do in like your sketchbook. Like I can do stuff like this in my sketchbook easy, but then in Clip Studio or Photoshop, can't really have that same amount of like just perfect precision. So um, that's why I say sculpt your lines, work with digital clay, experiment, grab things, resize them, which is what I'm about to do right now with her hair. About to grab this and resize the whole top of this head. Why does this, ha why does that show up? Clip Studio, I don't know what you guys are doing. I love that they wrote me back and they said my my freaking review was interesting. They're like, it was a very interesting review. I was like, I know what that means. <laughs> they're expecting, I don't know if they were expecting me to be like everybody else and like freaking take eight hours to like learn the program first. I was like, no, I just wanna jump in. I just wanna jump in and show you guys like how somebody converting from Photoshop would look at this. And if there's a problem or something that's confusing, it's I'm gonna freaking tell you. I'm gonna tell you exactly about it. I'm gonna tell you how frustrating it is and hopefully you can improve it. But honestly, I'm just thankful to Clip for having something, something to combat Photoshop, something to, you know, compete with Photoshop. Because the bar is not set high with Photoshop. It's not the most revolutionary thing uh, in case you haven't noticed. Okay, so uh, what I'm thinking now is I want to combine these into a group. I see that super chat coming in, Robert. Thank you very much for that. I'm gonna let it read itself and then I'll answer your question. I'm gonna copy paste this group. I took your advice and made an Insta. It's a Trubbit underscore yes. Lever. That's my Twitter too. And as for the art zone, I yes. think it's always there. Just relax. Oh, thanks, Robert. Glad you made an Instagram. Instagram is the future of all art. I'm telling you right now, if you don't have an Instagram, you're falling behind. If you want anybody to know who you are or your art or the thing that you want to bring to this world, get on Instagram right now and be posting. You don't have to post something every day, but you should at least be posting a story every day post a story and it doesn't have to be like you just take a picture of your sketchbook take a picture of your rabbits a pet if you're at a park you're walking around town take a picture of the nice cool um spring breeze i guess it's still kind of winter but the the winter breeze going through and watch the leaves fall off the trees it's like that's cool that stuff is awesome on instagram i love that i can like peek into not only an artist's work, but it's like, hey, this is where that person is right now. This is an experience that they had. That's why Instagram is so freaking cool. Uh, so get on there. Get ArtStation, that's great. That's good for your portfolio. It's good for professional work. But everything else, get your buns on Insta. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna begin erasing we're erasing away the body from where the clothes are, because obviously we don't we don't need that anymore. So cute, so cute. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Did we merge these? Cool. And we know now that this leg is supposed to be like this. Let's go ahead and rock one of these. The ellipse is supposed to be like that. Then we have the knee right there. I always draw just a little shape underneath the knee just to remind me where it is where it's at and then this is really important on the leg itself on the leg itself you think about that you know if you think about that uh, stocking that stocking is compressing the the leg right stocking is compressing the leg so make sure you have a little bit of kind of flesh popping out from it kind of a little bit of a bump 
Remember how we're talking about bumps on the legs? This adds another one. So maybe something along those lines. Actually, we can have this pop out just a tad bit. Ah, very good. Yeah, let's have it have a little bit of ruffles on it. That's pretty fun. And now I am just having a ball over here. And you guys can watch me put this together. So that shadow is probably going to go across like this. And we can go ahead and just shade that in. Or maybe not. Actually, the, the lines I found don't look good on the skin. We'll just leave a, a freaking line there to remind us where that shadow is supposed to be. Yes, thick thighs. Must have thick thighs. All right, next up, let's go ahead and sculpt in the hand holding the knife. Oh, in fact, I want the knife to be pointing the other direction. Other direction. So we'll have it like this. There we go. Look at how simple that hand is. Ah, I love it. I love it so much. In fact, since this is blowing that way, we can keep this skirt kind of going that way. Oh, lovely. Oh, very lovely. I'm going to kick this up even higher. Can we go boom like this? There we go. Get some additional ruffles in there. So that way... There we go. Looks good. Yeah, cause she's got a lot of leg left before it hits her hip. So that looks okay. If it looks too cheesy, we'll, we'll change it up later, but I'm just kind of rolling with what feels right. Knife. The knife itself is huge. It could be like even like distorted and weird in this phase. Looks cute, looks really cute. Okay, see this white part right here? I'm thinking about, oh, where's that little, I guess it's like an apron. Here I will draw lines, however. And now we have folds, folds coming from this little central piece, right? Because all of this fabric is being condensed into that thing that's around the waist. So we need a lot of pinch points in there. Many, many pinch points. See, doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that just look nice? We've got a super chat coming in. Thank you so much. Looking awesome, Keenan. Any advice for practicing color theory? Looking good. Oh, you're talking about the drawing. I thought you were talking about me. I was like, yes, I took extra time to do my hair for you today, Scott. Scott's asking, looking awesome. Any advice for practicing color theory? Yes, yes. I have some great advice for practicing color theory, and I'm about to show you. I will show you during the stream but in the meantime uh, I can just kind of lay it out for you for what I'm thinking um, so basically with color theory it has to do with picking your colors but I like to basically pick my color palette before I even start the piece and the way that I do that is um, I'll basically pick out like the background color and you're gonna see me do this in a little bit 
and then I'll basically have all of my colors mix with that background color. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically unify everything. It's just going to make it look like it all belongs together. But it's one thing to say it, it's another thing to do it. So I will show you in a little bit. So what I'm doing here, I'm actually having a lot of fun because I'm thinking about this skirt as like one piece of fabric, right? So it's got these shadows. You'll see I'm kind of drawing in these shapes. Those represent shadows. So I'll kind of do one of these things and I'll do one of these things. Those are shadows. Um, but there's different ruffles happening on the petticoat and there's different uh, as opposed to the ruffles that are happening on the basically the black part of the skirt. So we've got stuff like this happening. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And see, I'm just kind of erasing. This is my line sculpting technique in the works, in the flesh. Okay, so that goes up and around like that. And then this skirt is about to go up and around again. Cool. See, now we got all this interesting texture going through here. Cool. And if I go silent, you'll know that it is because I am indeed in the zone. I am indeed in the zone. See, but look at that. See how much life there is happening within that skirt now? It's blowing all over the place. Super fun. Um, yeah, there's some mega strong winds blowing through here. I think it's fun to draw, like, at first I was like, folds? I remember when my art teacher was teaching me about, or they were saying, oh, you need to learn how to draw drapery. Drapery. And I was like, you want me to draw like a curtain? Boring. But now I realize I should have listened. I should have listened to them because I get what they were saying now. It's like, I want to draw folds. I want to draw billowy dresses and stuff that looks like a character is actually wearing it. And it's like behaving in a way that looks natural. So, yeah. Ramez Madi! I've been you since before your riot days when I was in art oh. school in SF. And as soon as I leave you move there, disappointed face. Keep <laughs> up the amazing work. Oh, yeah. Ramez. Well, I'm sorry that I moved here as soon as you moved away, but... You know, it's just kind of the way it goes sometimes. But thank you so much for following me for such a long time and also for the super chat. It means a lot. Um, I do plan on doing cons in the future. So I will be sure to be talking about that and posting all that information on the Discord. So anybody who wishes to come by and visit and take a picture and hug me, say, hey, you seem pretty cool. We should hang out sometime. I'll be there. <laughs> I love, okay. I'm actually really enjoying this because I am, I'm still not 100% comfortable with uh, Clip Studio, but I'm glad that I am practicing more because Lord knows I needed the practice. Oh, thank you. Thank you for helping me get this down. I kind of want this thing to come higher because I want this pattern to keep replicating. I find that when you put things in threes, they tend to look a lot more, what's the word, pleasing.
Yeah, that looks good. Looks really nice. And then that gives us a chance to get in there and do all kinds of fun little things with the... Yeah! Yeah, looks way cool. Ooh, you know what we should do? I, I just got this idea. I want to have her pointing the knife at us. I want to just play around with that really quick. See how this pose is just very like kind of flat. Whereas what we're working with behind it, it just has all of this depth. All right. There's a ton of depth in this. All this stuff is like coming towards you. feels really nice. So, um, I want to make sure I'm capturing that. Let's add some additional depth to this piece. Let's move this up. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Knife is going to be pointing directly at us. Yeah, this will look cool. All right, so here's how I'm going to do this. So I'm just erasing away like this. And we have uh, duplicated this layer, I hope. If not, whatever. So we've got shoulder, right? Shoulder. And then what comes out of the shoulder? Well, the bicep. And then here's how I like to think about it. The bicep interlocks with the forearm in a way like this. So if your bicep goes this way, then your forearm is going to go this way. Let's see where I'm going with this. So you're actually going to have a shape that looks somewhat like this. See, look at that. You got the shoulder muscle right there. Oh, perfect. Back muscle, no problem. And just before your very eyes, you have something in perspective. Ha! Isn't that great? No, no fricking reference needed. I just did that live. You guys saw me do that live. Uh, but now comes the hard part, and that is the hand holding the thing. So we know that we want the knife to be facing kind of. Wanted to make it a two-parter and let you know way. how much I've learned from you over the years. So genuinely thank you for helping me in my art career. Smiley face. Ramez, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for supporting the show. Yeah, it means a lot that you guys have learned from me. And uh, I want to see... I always say this. I feel like if everybody knew how to draw, the world would indeed be a better place. So I'm happy that I can help give you some ideas. I feel like I just give you ideas. You guys are doing all the work. Uh, so don't don't ever forget that, please. I'm just happy that I can give you guys some ideas on how to express yourselves. Um, yes, that means a lot, Ramez. Scott, you. <laughs> you're so kind. Me too. <laughs> you guys are so cool. You guys can put longer messages. I love how the people that are donating just do like the smallest messages. They're like you guys can ask questions. You guys can ask questions. You guys can post art. I'll check it out. If it's made of metal and you want to freaking show me your art and you want it on the stream, just say what your Instagram thing is. I'll check it out. And then I will, I will be happy to show that on stream. Okay, cool. So there's our knife. Hey, that looks pretty fun. And keep in mind, keep in mind that because, oh, we could definitely Im improve this a little bit. Let's make this bigger. She's far away, so she's not going to, we're not going to be able to do this thing where it's like pointing at us like that. We can't exaggerate it that much. Just a little bit though. A little bit goes a long way. See, that feels like it's coming at us in perspective. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, look, we can even cheat it. Uh, <laughs> that looks cool. I like that one. Oh, by the way, the way I did that, you want a little pro tip, hold control and then kind of pull it. See how I can like make that go into perspective like perfectly. 
just grabbing an edge and it's kind of warping it so it looks like it's coming in perspective a little bit better. My fifth Dono Flex in on you. A jumbo QB on egg. Smiley face. Smiley face. Thank you for flexing. Thank you for flexing because when you flex, money flies out of your biceps, Jumbo. How do you do that? And thank you for sending that my way. It means a lot. All right, I'm going to pull up some additional new music. Let's go ahead and put this on. It's going to be time for a bio break here in just a moment. Yeah, I'm going to let's do bio break now. I'll be back. I'll leave you guys with a nebula. Or actually, no, you guys can just look at this. You guys can look at this cute, precious Mika face. Oh, I am going to back this up, though, real quick. <coughs> I'm having <coughs> so much fun with this. Thinking we might make this a two-parter. I might have to pick this up another day. But in the meantime, chill here while I go answer the call of nature. We'll be right back. Oh, here's what you can do while I'm on break. Jumbo Cube. We're going to put up some of your art for the break because you're such a kind donator. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at this baby Yoda. Going to like that. Um... Uh, and I will comment. Cool. I'll be back. half hours wow not bad all right i'm gonna fill up my little water mug and then i'll be right back timer i'm setting a timer for about one hour because after that we got to start winding down race is on guys and because of that i'm going to switch over this is a little dual cast right i've been digging clip studio but you know what i'm really most comfortable with and that's photoshop so we're gonna switch over and we're just gonna rock it through this because i want to finish this quickly <laughs> clip studio is nice but 
there's just... I realize now how good my chalk brush is. So let's go ahead and open this Photoshop. Ugh. My forehead is so shiny. The, um... This light... I can't tell if making it darker improves it. No, if anything, it looks better. Let's get this fill light right here. Check out my fill light. Fill light right there. We are good to go. We're jumping into Photoshop, people. And I'm getting really hungry. Phone Lee! Thank you for the super chat. Please let me know what you have to say, and I will answer you. Courtesy of Ray Ayanami. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is going to be a good time. This is going to be a very good time. Uh, it appears that I have totally effed this up. We need to redo these lines. So here's what I'm going to do, people. I'm going to flip this around. We are going to... Uh, wait, how come your super chat didn't show up, phone Lee? I don't know why your super chat didn't show up, but it's going to come in right here. I'm going to make the little noise. Bidly ding dong. Just started my Insta like five days ago, at Fond Art. I only have three posts, but I can't tell if it's going to be a long ride before I build a following. Lol. That was my best impersonation of the super chat. <laughs> um, yeah, Insta, anything where you are marketing yourself, you gotta be in it for the long haul. But my personal advice to you, yeah, post as much as you can. Save your best posts for the actual... Uh, Save your best posts for the actual feed on your Instagram. Uh, and then post daily, if you can, just stories. It could be, yeah, the park is always, stick it out your window, right? Stick it out your window and just like film something. Film a tree, film, if you find anything with like an animal in it, everybody loves seeing cute animals. Film some cute animals. Film someone's dog. Film your own dog. Post that every day. And I'm telling you, Instagram is going to recommend you to people. Oh, and make sure you're doing your hashtags, okay? Hashtag everything. At the company. At the company of whoever you're drawing. And uh, you will live long and prosper, phonely. Thank you for the super chat again. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to merge everything. We're going to merge everything. We're going to delete all this old crap. I need to delete all this old stuff, so hold up. Get rid of this. Actually, I'm just going to compress this into a folder called old. Okay, there we go. We've got a folder. I'm just going to call it old. Old. Golden oldies. And we're going to go to channels. And remember the day I learned how to do this. You're just going to think this is so cool. So see how right now, uh, I want to make this into line art, right? So what I need to do is I need to make this, I need to basically drop the saturation here. I need to drop the saturation and then I need to tweak the brightness contrast like this. Okay, so see how I'm kind of getting, you know, just enough information in there. Have you considered checking good. out oh. Blender? The latest update added some really powerful tools including some 2D animation capabilities and 3D sketching. Thank Plus you, Easy Threezy. Uh, to which I answer absolutely I'm considering checking out Blender uh, uh, I want to I have a friend who's into 3D animation or 3D modeling who can give me some good pointers on Blender because it seems like such a godsend I could make so many cool backgrounds I want to be able to construct castles right? I want to be able to make landscapes and castles and to have them already be in perspective, I don't need to draw grids. I don't have to do any of that crap. It's going to be a huge time saver. So yes, easy for easy. I will be checking that out. Oh, and it even has some 2D animation capabilities. I think I've seen that. I've seen some stuff with that. Really, really cool stuff. Thank you for the the suggestion, easy for easy. All right, so we've got this. 
and we're gonna go to channels and we're gonna go to this, right? I'm gonna hit that little magical button right there. That selects everything. Hit shift control I, all right? You better stay with me here. New layer and then we're gonna fill that layer. Boom. And look at that, now we have line art all by itself. Ah, oh, it makes me so happy. Crucial question, Hollow Knight great game or the greatest game? Also would love to shout out my new fantasy novel series, Philema, Mystic Will. Oh, wow. Marusia. Yeah, thank you for... Yeah, that. this is the place to market. I will check out Thele Thelema, Mystic Will. It looks awesome. Crucial question, though. Hollow Knight, great game or the greatest game? Oh, man. I've been playing some Dead Cells, and I'm really liking Dead Cells. So it's, it's hard to... It's hard to say it's the greatest game, but... Would I work for Team Cherry? Yeah, in a heartbeat. If they called me tomorrow and say, hey, we want you to move out to Australia. By the way, I hope everybody in Australia. Mar Marusia is? You're an author on Amazon? That's way cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend's checking you out as we speak. But uh, yeah, I hope everybody in in uh australia right now is safe i heard about all the wildfires that really sucks hope you guys are doing okay um i have friends out there in australia i need to follow up with them make sure they're doing okay but uh yeah yeah definitely um if i could go work there if i could go work in australia for team cherry i would in a heartbeat because what they did with hollow knight I think they, they like did something, right? They did something special. They made a statement with Hollow Knight and that was that you can still make games like this and they can be phenomenal. They can be phenomenal 2D, like, uh, what, what, I don't know what you call it. Everyone calls it Metroidvania, but I don't know. It's just like a good exploration game. It's a really, really good exploration power up. I love how, I love how they take Metroid and stuff like that and then they expand upon it by saying, hey, now you can actually like customize your play style with the charms. I love how you can customize your play style with the charms. It makes it way more interesting to be like, oh, hey, this is my special build for this situation. You know, you might rock some different charms for like the arena versus, you know, fighting a boss. So yeah, Team Cherry just rocks. Just straight up rocks. And you know what else rocks? This Mika. I'm loving this Mika and I'm loving that loving dat arm looking a little small though Ooh, we're gonna grab that we're just gonna increase the size of this entire thing there we go there we go cool now let's go ahead and lay in some values by the way i realized the music stopped let's go ahead and pull that up Get back to some relaxation music. Oh, is that non-copyrighted background music? Thank you. And then turn off autoplay. Autoplay's off. Okay, good. Good stuff. <laughs> Way cool. Oh, thanks for the shouting out there, Buck, cutie. Appreciate that. This is so nice. So nice having a mod. I love having mods. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna tell you guys something. So this is about the point where I like to do a quick, what I like to call value check. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna begin kind of shading things in to be like, okay, this part I know is gonna be dark. This part's gonna be dark. And I'm just kind of like getting my values figured out to see if this is gonna work. Just kind of think of it as like a quick little value comp. So it's like, okay, I want the hair to look like this. It's going to be about that color. There's going to be a little bit of cute blush on there. Nice, Mika. Nice. There we go. Got that there. What I'm doing now is basically just seeing if this is indeed going to work out. And I think it is. Because right now we just have lines. We need to see the separation of values, right? Because we have petticoats. We've got black. We've got black parts of the dress. We've got white parts of the dress. Actually, this part, 
Like, this is a good example. I'm gonna make this ruffle. I'm gonna try this out to see if it was black, if it looks better, and I think it does. Yeah, that part actually looks a lot better when it's black. So, yeah, I'm digging that. Let's go ahead and shade in the stocking as well and put a little shadow on the leg. Shade in the stocking and the boots. Checking dem values is what we're doing. Looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty dang cool. And yeah, the reason I do this is, like I said, just to save time, just to see if what I'm working on is gonna look proper. I'm gonna go ahead and shade in the skin a little bit too, because I like to go in there where the eyes are and I like to kind of carve out the eye. You know, anime eyes, they don't really have lines all the time to show where, you know, stuff is happening. It's also shade in that lip. So that's a little closer to what we're going to be seeing in the final render. See? So we sit back and we ask ourselves, do we like it? And we say yes, almost. There's a few things that are bothering me. Few things are bothering me about this. Uh, oh, one of them is we need additional ruffles back here. Additional ruffles. That'll help that pop off the back. <laughs> yes, very nice. Very nice. Hardy, you off? Oh, Jumbo, catch you later. Thanks for sticking around. See you tomorrow on the VOD. Hope you have pleasant dreams. Hope you have the most pleasant of dreams. And then also she has, she has this, but then I also want her to have a little bit of a tiny little headdress. I think that'd be cute. Why is this auto playing? Wait. Oh, never mind. It's not auto playing. I, I could have sworn that previous song ended and it was already on to the next one. I was like, what? No. Because <laughs> as soon as something copyrighted plays, it totally screws up the entire stream. Yeah. Now that's looking like a made of metal. That's looking like a made of metal right there. Really cute. Um, I don't know how I feel about this going up that high. I, I want to try bringing it down just a tad bit. Let's try maybe like this. In fact, I don't even think we need a line there. It just needs to be something like that maybe. Let's compare. Compare and contrast to the previous one. Hmm, actually, you know what? Maybe maybe it's not as big of a deal as I thought. Oh, actually, no, that, that looks 100% better. Because now it looks like it's going with the wind. See how the, the way it's pointing is like this way? That feels a lot more natural, like it would actually be behaving that way, considering the wind. Cool. Cool. Um, these things I'm liking less. I'm gonna try, see maybe without them. Also, I realize this knee can come up a lot more. This knee basically needs to align with that knee. So it would look more like that.
There we go. That's the leg I was looking for. All right, it's time to make one more final pass at this face. Uno mas, uno mas. Cause this is, this is supposed to be mega Mika, right? She ain't messing around. This Mika ain't messing around. So we can get a little crazy with it. Okay, she can have crazy eyelashes. In fact, I'd like her to. The crazier her eyelashes are, the better. Now we're getting in and really fine tuning this face. Speaking of that, I want to have this thing overtaken by the actual headband. Like it's actually holding her hair in place there. I think that'll look a lot nicer. Yeah, there we go. That looks a lot more like Mika's hair. And she has that little bit of hair coming back like this. And then now this hair can go. I want to have it go into like this tiny little thing and then just explode out. So I'm thinking something like this. There we go. Much more interesting hair shapes. You see that? That's the way you do it. Oh, and I realize I'm pressing so hard because I'm pressing so hard because I didn't fix my Wacom settings. So hang on. Yeah, I need to remember to do this. I was like, why am I struggling so much? <laughs> I go back into my Wacom settings and we whack that thing down one on that tip feel. Okay. One down to soft may save your hand, may save your finger, may save your life. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. That's so much better. Yeah, so see, now those faces finally look like each other. <laughs> finally look like each other. Took long enough. Took freaking long enough. Holy crap. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, Mika, you look so precious. You look so darling. Okay, hang on. I like to kind of like do these angles, you know? Like don't make your eyes perfectly round. Like kind of put some angles in there, you know? Make it, make it a little edgy, get a little edgy with it. Because, yeah, minor changes make major differences. Stick that on a wall. Put that on a calendar. I should have my own calendar, don't you guys think? Oh, that's what I could do. I can make a made of metal calendar so that way when people are asking what it is, it's like, is it an anime, a comic? Be like, no, it's just a calendar. Just a calendar. Go, go buy it now. It's on Amazon. And then I'll have that link ready to go. Maybe that would be a cool thing. Because calendars are... Yeah, interesting. They're about that. Um, they're about that aspect ratio. They're squared off, so we could totally make a calendar. That would be fun. All right, people. So all I'm doing now is I'm going through. I like the shape of this hair. I like what's happening here a lot. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. And get that done. Get that going. Oh, wow. 
Just love it when things work out. Just love it when things work out. And right now this hair is working fabulously. Thank you for working with me, hair. Look at that, we got ourselves a cute maid girl. Also, I can totally see that her body needs to be bigger still. You'd be surprised at how many times I do this per drawing, but I'll just grab the entire thing like this, and it'll be like, her neck needs to be longer, and her body needs to be bigger. So let's do like one of these. That looks more correct. And then, then you're gonna get in there and you're gonna say, fix this, fi fix it like this. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, it's so lovely. I just, just saved the piece. Just saved the piece right there. Right before your very eyes, you just saved it. <laughs> and you can tell I've been having a lot of fun today. Today has been a very fun streaming day. Cool. So see, that's where we were before. Looking a little stubby, right? There we go. Now she actually has a neck. Thank you. Mika, you can thank me for giving you your neck back. We have a winner. That's what you call winning right here. Oh, and now we have space for the bow. Oh, I just became a very happy soul. I just became a very happy soul. So we got space for Bowage. And we got another super chat coming in from Robert. Aw. Hey, you're... Wait. You're thanking everybody who followed you by super chatting me? More people, go follow this person right now. <laughs> go follow Robert Leva. <laughs> Glad you got some new followers. But see, that's what I'm talking about. Marketing. Another way you can market yourself is super chatting. Just wanted to thank everyone who followed me. Smiley thank you, Robert. Face. It means so much. Do I want that bow to appear like that? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So see how this bow is like also, like see how it's like coming towards you? It's because the wind is pushing it. So it's like the more you can have objects in your scene being affected by the same force, the more it's gonna look freaking awesome. Felipe! Wow. <gasps> You are so cute, Felipe. I'm gonna let that read off and then I'm gonna react to it. Rar XD nuzzles you woo. Ooh woo. Rar XD nuzzles. Aw, you would nuzzle me? I'd nuzzle you right back, Felipe. That's the other thing. If you wanna nuzzle me at uh, Comic-Con, you can totally nuzzle me if you want. Thank you for the super chat. You guys have been so supportive today. It really means a lot. I hope you've been having fun watching me put this together. I was a little, I'll be honest, I was a little unsure at first. I was like, every time I get on here, I'm like, I would rather, you know what I would rather do? I'd rather get on when it's like right here. I'm like, hey guys, look, we got this nice drawing of Mika ready to go. And uh, I don't want you guys to see how I got here because I had to draw this like 50 freaking times. But on the stream, you guys get to see everything. And that was what I promised myself. I promised myself that I was going to stream more. I was going to show my full process. Full, full process. Everybody deserves to see it. 
yeah, hope you guys have been getting some good value out of it. It's been good for me too, because it's been showing me that it helps me to think out loud. I think that's why I like streaming is because it's basically allowing me to think out loud and I can say things like, oh, this is about the time when I would take a break. And because I said that, like now I actually have to do Please, it. Pout, pout. <laughs> You're wheezing, Felipe? My Felipe. Your name is your Felipe, but you are truly my Felipe. Thank you, Felipe, for the for the 399 pounds. Marusia! Can we make custom emojis to use for your Discord? Oh yeah, I would love it if you guys made some custom emojis. I need to figure out how that works, but the sound of it is very enticing and it makes me have a smile. It makes me have a big, big smile. Thank you. Thank you for looking like the same freaking character. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for being able to pull that off. We're just gonna erase away. This is line sculpting at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Line sculpting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I can feel myself kind of going into a zone. So I'm going to, just for a moment, finish rendering out these lines. You, here's the things I want you to be watching for. I'm gonna be adding, I'm gonna be adding and subtracting. So see how I'm like, oh, okay. I wanna kind of subtract away from here. This is what I talk about with sculpting. <coughs> <coughs> and choking. <coughs> So you want to sculpt properly. You want to not choke on your own spit and follow along. Okay. I'm going to go into a zone. I will not be talking for a moment. Just, just watch me. Unless you super chat, then I'm definitely going to be Speaking talking. Speaking of Hollow Knight thoughts on Ori. Oh, uh, David Linkowski. Speaking of Hollow Knight thoughts on Ori. I have not personally played Ori, but I would love to play it on stream sometime. All I know, all I can say is that it looks beautiful. Ori is a very cute character. I love all of the characters from Ori in the Blind Forest. And uh, yeah, visually beautiful. If I could make a game like that, I would be very, very happy. Wow, you guys, I'm supposed to be going in the zone. You guys are hitting me up with all the super chats now. <laughs> I need to go in the zone more often. Wesley, I'll let that read off and then I'll answer you. Thank you for the super chat ahead of time though. That is going to read itself, right? Wait at. I guess it doesn't work sometimes. Well, if it doesn't work, I will put it up on the stream and then I will read it in my oh so amazing, my best stream labs voice. I'll give it 10 seconds. <clears throat> Man, you guys, I'm trying to concentrate over here. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, see, Wesley's didn't spits come in, cutely. but yours did, Felipe. Spits cutely? I have no idea how to spit cutely. I would love to see that. Wesley Flotman says, glad to catch the stream live. Missed the last few. Thanks again for sharing the Mika fan art the other day. Keep it going. Oh, there it goes. Glad to catch the stream live. Missed the last few. Thanks again for sharing. Where was that five Mika minutes ago? The other day, keep it going, Keenan. Regards, Wesleyus. Oh, Wesley. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for showing up to watch the stream again. It really means a lot that you're so supportive and that you're hanging out here, like basically every stream. Um, I always I, okay. Whenever I see your name on Insta, I will admit, I love your character's icon, where it's just like this person, like. Like that, just like, so every time I see it, I laugh to myself. I'm like, oh, there's Wesley. There's his avatar with the crazy looking face. <laughs> so thank you for the super chat, Wesley. Wesleyless. All right, people. Now can I please go into the zone? Just let me have my art. 
Let me have my waifu. <clears throat> then I will join you guys in just a moment. See, I'm just generally thickening lines. Okay, this line right here on the leg, the way it goes whoop like that, I'm actually going to highlight this. If you guys can do this on your legs, you'll be like Pacha, okay? I'm telling you, you'll be like Pacha. You'll be doing this. You'll be like, mmm. These legs are singing, okay? So look, see how it goes like that on the outside and then on the inside it goes boom and then it goes whoa and then like that. Uh, shows off that knee muscle, shows off your calves. It looks weird, but that is how legs can work. Of course, people have all kinds of different legs, but that is one type of leg and it's one of my favorites. I like it when the knee, you can see the knee go out like that. And then you got this bump up here and then the other side of the calf is like down here. It's just this really cool way that it like balances itself and it looks really nice. So do that and you will be very happy. Okay. We're going to go ahead and clean this up. So I'm really wanting to, again, exaggerate this even further. So we'll have that bump there and then we'll have another bump right at the end of the knee. Now we won't let you well, concentrate. Felipe, man, you're just chucking you're just chucking money at this point. Come on, save some for yourself. Thank you for the super chat, Felipe. You're so kind. And I love your avatar. What is that? It looks like something from Dark Souls. Looks like some Dark Souls character with giant lips. <laughs> with lovely lips. You can see it right there, Felipe. Looking good. I hope that's a self-portrait of you. You have very fair skin, I must say. And thank you for the super chat. Thank you guys so much for all the support today. You guys have been so kind. I don't know what I did to deserve you guys, but thank you for being here. I'm happy to be streaming. I'm happy to have you guys here. I'm happy to actually be able to pay some bills by doing this. You guys are actually helping me live. Just know when you guys send me money, you're helping me stay alive and not die. So thank you. Just know it goes, uh, it does not go unnoticed. All right, I'm feeling a little bit more in the zone. We're doing this cool stuff over here. I really like the way this leg came out. This leg makes me feel things. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. This leg right here makes me feel things. I hope it's making you feel things too. However, that sock or whatever it was that was coming out of that that's making me feel bad things so we're gonna get rid of that let's draw to boots oh with boots i always have to try to find a reference but this thing is so small i'm gonna just try to wing it okay i'm gonna try to wing it i'm gonna wing a boot for you so i know that there's this outside right here Guys. It is a self-portrait. How did you guess? <laughs> it is a self-portrait, Felipe says. Uh, well, well, I must say, I hope to meet you in real life because I would love to take a picture with someone as fair-skinned as you and with such beautiful big lips. Beautiful big pink lips. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat again, Felipe. You guys are so supportive. You're just making me smile. Making me smile. Very nice legs. It makes me Zade. feel things too. Thank you for the sex. Very nice legs. It makes me feel things too. <laughs> and I showed you how to make, you can make legs like this at home. Okay. With my patented recipe. My patented recipe. You can make legs like this too. Just don't forget those bumps, okay? There's subtlety. So many people draw legs and it's like, oh, I want to draw this Keep person, right? Keenan. We need the mom anime. Smiley face. Keep living. Aw, oh, phone. Thank you for the super chat. I will keep living. I, of course, I don't want to make it sound like without you guys, I'm going to be on the street or anything. Like, I can take care of business. But, like, if I could do this for a living instead of ever working for anybody ever again, uh, I would rather do this. I'd rather stream for you guys. That'd be really fun. Because then I get to just work on my own characters. But anyway, um, I was going to tell you guys about legs. Okay, so most people draw legs, and what do they do? They're like this, like this, like this. <laughs> Let me know if you've ever constructed legs like this. 
hey, look at that, I can draw legs, yay. <laughs> but no, there's so much more subtlety to that. There's so much more subtlety in the legs. But as soon as you start doing this, you're saying, okay, I'm gonna draw this leg. And I'll be like, okay, Keenan taught me how to draw sexy legs. So what is it? You got one, two, three, three bumps, three bumps on this side. So we go one, two, and then you go down and then three. And then over here, you go down and then you go out right here and you go down like that. Oh, such a more, much more beautiful leg with those nice subtleties. And then the other one kind of follows a similar route. Uh, see, very sexy. That'll make you feel things. Okay. Legs oh, actually I'll keep that course. there. Keep that there. I always like to try to keep my sketches because I will upload these later for you guys to download off of Patreon. That's right. That's right. Of course I charge for my PSDs. And guess what? I charge you $5. And guess how many PSDs you get? Over 100. Over 100. See that description right there? See that Patreon link? If you go and pledge $5, you can just, you could just pledge $5 and download all 100 of my PSDs and then just take it off. It's like you got so many PSDs for value. So I have no problem charging for my work. Legs at home, Felipe. Horse and cowboy? Legs at home. <laughs> I don't understand what the horse and the cowboy means. I, I'm probably not smart enough to understand the meme, but thank you again for the super chat, Felipe. Felipe, you're on fire. So what this makes me want to do is, okay, so this makes me want to have like a leaderboard type of thing and someone who's pledging like that, like you, Felipe, I want your name to be somewhere and then like have it actually be on fire, you know, so you can keep like a freaking streak going. I would love to have some sort of thing that shows up on the stream um, just over time for all the lovely people and all the kind people that are super chatting. Just know that is in the works. But for now, you'll just have to accept my undying love and me thinking about you late at night when I'm about to fall asleep. Do you want to work in the anime industry one day? No. <laughs> Zade. No, well, here's the thing. I would love to work in the anime industry, but as far as being an animator, drawing cells and stuff over and over again, it's going to be tough. I would rather um, work with other talented individuals, people that are way better at animating than I could ever be, and just direct them to do it. And I'd like to be able to, yeah. So that's why I'm doing this. It's like, I'm just getting these ideas together. That way, worst case scenario, I can just, you know, sell calendars and prints at these cons. A best case scenario, I got the elevator pitch for when someone comes up to me and says, hey, I'm an angel investor and I got like freaking a million dollars. I'm looking, for, you wouldn't happen to know anybody that's like developing like cartoon or entertainment for Netflix. You wouldn't happen to know anybody who has an idea like that, would you? And I'd be like, uh yeah i do and then not only do i have that idea i have the entire story written and all the characters drawn pov you are an artist who is getting cheap money point of view artist who's getting cheap money uh, hey it ain't cheap for you or if it is then please send me more they ain't no problem i mean i'll take all that i can get but uh felipe i appreciate it it ain't cheap just the fact that, like, it's hard. I get it. It's hard for you to freaking want a super chat. The fact that you went out of your way to send me money means a lot. It really does mean a lot. I was saying this earlier. That makes me go to bed at night, and I'm sitting there, and I, I got my blanket right here, right above my chin, and I'm just, like, smiling like this. I'm like, hmm. Like, people out there actually care about me. People actually out there are getting value out of what I'm doing. It makes me feel like I'm on the right course. So, uh, and not just the money, right? The fact that you guys are posting stuff on Instagram, just the fact that you guys tell me that I'm helping you out in any way, shape or form, that's payment enough for me, but also helps that I can actually pay my rent. <laughs> okay. So there's my boot. I took way too much time on that. We need to take a lot less time. I hate boots. What? I love them, but I hate drawing boots. What's up, babe? Oh, not boobs. No. No, I love boobs. No, I hate drawing boots. 
Boots are annoying, and here's why. If you've ever had trouble painting boots, it's because they are a man-made object, and you need to draw them in proper perspective. And if you don't, then they're going to look wonky, they're going to look chonky, they're going to look strange, and it's going to make you feel bad. Just know that that's normal. Boots are meant to be hard. But hopefully you watching me can help shed some light on it. Yazi! I just really needed to say this because I won't have another chance to do this again. And oh. all I can say is that you helped me become a better artist. Aww, Yazi, that means a lot. Thank you for the super chat. And thank you for letting me know that it's been helping you out. Like I said, it's like people are like, Oh, why are you so intent on helping people? There's two reasons. One is, yeah. I'm... The world is a better place if everybody knows how to draw. And Question. two... Air spit or water spit? And two, I need to be able to hire you guys someday, and I'm going to be tired of drawing every single... Like, I can't draw every single frame of this anime. I need a team of other amazing artists. So if I can train you, and maybe you want to work with me one day, that would be awesome. Felipe is saying, air spit or water spit? I don't fully understand. Are you talking about taking a chug of water and then spitting the water? That actually seems pretty fun. Especially if you're like at a rock concert, you know, they drink the water and then spray it all over the crowd and somehow they enjoy that. Uh, I think I would rather do a water spit. That would be really fun. I would want to be the one spitting, not getting spat upon though. So uh, also maybe happen at, at the convention. You want to get some water spit from yours truly? Come on over to the convention. <laughs> uh, actually, no, that will never happen. I would never spit upon anybody. I would never spit upon anybody. But thank you for the question, Felipe. All right. Um... That looks good enough. I'm just going to kind of roll with that. Again, this thing's going to be tiny. It's a tiny piece. You might not even see it at that point. Just finished the lineage while watching. Your videos are always a great help. Smiley face. No public ig, but here's the lineage. Oh, thank you, Orion. That was so kind of you. Wait, how come that didn't show up yet on the thing? Hang on, I'm going to get on my stream labs and reread that. And it's perfect because we needed to take a quick break. So we're breaking. We're looking at this. Pretty happy with it. It's looking pretty cool. But we're probably going to be winding down here pretty soon, ladies and gentlemen. we got 15 minutes, and then uh, we're going to start calling it good. So I'm going to look at that super chat. see that was there we go trying to paint along with your tips thank you oh thank you Kinani thank you for painting along interesting these things these I super chats wasting. are not coming through money on you three. Why is that not coming through? Was it a donation? I have no idea why that didn't come through. Oh, here we go, Orion. Orion said, just finished the line art while watching your videos. Always a great help. Thank you, Orion. I'm glad you're doing line art with me. And I hope, uh, yeah, I hope it came out well. You'll have to let me know what you're drawing. All righty. Thank you for the Monopoly money, Felipe. Trying to paint along with your tips. Thank you. Yes. Paint along. Draw along. Join me. Join the Kane Kale Kingdom and line sculpt with me. Zade, I see that coming in. Wow. Wow. Guys are just going crazy over here with the super chats today. I ain't complaining. I complain zero on days like this. I 
I just want to say I made it far even reaching a professional level thanks to you I'm currently working in the anime industry. Oh my gosh, you you're so working well. professionally in the anime industry? Are you an animator? That's so cool, Zaid. Congratulations. Super proud of you. Are you have a regular schedule. Love your work, BTW. Stanley, thank you for the super chat as well. The schedule is still TBD. These are just test streams, trying to get my kind of flow down. Trying to get my little flow going. But uh, the schedule will be updated as it becomes more solid, basically. Man, you guys are so cool. <laughs> Zade says, thank you, dad. <laughs> thank you, Zade. I like to think of myself as, yes, the art dad. You can be art dad. All right, let us continue here. I'm about ready to slap this back on where we started and continue laying everything out because I'm thinking I want to continue this at a later date. But we can definitely get it set up. All right, Mika, so we're going to stick you right there. We're going to grab our background, Mika, slap her right there. It's so cute. Good night, Felipe. I hope you're thinking about me as you drift off to sleep. I'll be definitely thinking about you. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for all the support as well. Uh, in all honesty, Felipe, it really means a lot. Made my day. All right, so let's go ahead and get this line arted. We're going to do that by compressing everything. We're going to tweak the brightness contrast to like that. Tweak brightness contrast to right about there. Let's go to channels, select that whole thing. Shift control I and fill it. We're going to just do a quick little layout of what this is going to look like. Okay, so we're going to go whoop and go whoop like that. <gasps> this is pretty funny. <laughs> I like this. So she's standing on herself. That's very funny. Very funny, very cute. I think we could move this over just slightly because I want her to be right on that thirds line. Can we, how big can we make her before it's kind of weird? Or should we make her smaller? Smaller is kind of cool too. See, this is why I told you guys, and this may have been a mistake on my part. I think we may have put too much detail into this, but we'll see. Cause I don't want to mess up. Actually, that looks perfect right there. Just so it's barely intersecting with the face and it's overlapping. That looks good right there. That looks really good. And let's go ahead and grab this leg. Actually, no, that, that looks perfect the way it is. It looks perfect. And the other thing I wanted to do was, I wanna play around with like moving this about. Maybe there's a way that we can maybe do this type of thing. Maybe this type of thing. Or should it be straight up and down? I don't know. Yeah, see, as soon as we tilt it to the side, it just feels like it's kind of off kilter. It feels nice. I like the additional energy it adds to the piece. So we're going to roll with that. We're going to fill this in, and then we're going to start kind of masking things out. Yeah. Oh! Whoa! Neoculus coming in with the Herks. Thank you, Neoculus and Benick. I love your work, Saludos Testachuli im Animator. Benick says, Love your work, Saludos desde Chile. Aw, thank you. You're an animator. Wow, super cool. You it makes me so happy me to, to hear people from the industry so much watching whenever this. Whenever I see your live, I just start drawing with you. Thank you so much for being in art community. Yeah, Heart. of course. Neoculus, thank you for the Herx. Benek, thank you for the CLPs. 1,000! 
whole whole thousand CLPs. Um, but yeah, Neoculus. I love that name, Neoculus. Whenever I see Levi, just start drawing with you. Aw. Well, I'm glad we could draw together today. Hope you had some fun. Hope you got some good stuff done. I know I certainly did. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. But you know what I want to do now? I want to mask this Mika. I want to mask this freaking Mika. <laughs> and you know how we're going to do it? We're going to do it with the magic wand tool. Because we like to work fast here. Nice and fast. Fast like... Uh-oh. Wait, why is that... Why is that happening? Oh, it needs to sample all layers. Hello. Sample all dim layers, please. So let's grab all of this stuff from around the piece. Oh, crap. It's going in there, too. All right. Well, let's go ahead and clean this up really quick, then. Let's see where... Let's make sure all of our silhouettes are proper, properly set up. That looks good. That needs to be cleaner. Just a little bit right there. Sometimes I question Photoshop. Sometimes I question why I use this. Like, I need to... Oops, I'm going to shift control I that. Ha <laughs> ha. Love it. Love it. Um, I need to go into my edit keyboard shortcuts. I don't know when they did this, but oh, I have this set on the wrong thing. That needs to be one. That needs to be deleted. Okay, there we go. Yeah, before Photoshop is even usable, I need to like mess around with so many settings. Ah, it's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Mm, here we go. Thank you for the subscription, PCA. Let's go ahead and just manually mask this last little bit. Zade, you liking her eyes? Thanks, Zade. I worked long and hard on them. I debated upon many an eye. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of subtlety in eyes. There's subtlety in legs. Don't, don't take it for granted. Love her eyes, BTW. I love the eyes on your your avatar, Zade. I'm gonna show that real quick. <laughs> I love the giant side mouth that's coming off here. That's what I'm talking about. Anime is so versatile. You can have so many different types of faces and just stylized approaches to um to anime and yes say thank you again for the sex uh let's go ahead and continue this where is my music what i'm very happy it didn't just auto play something that made me really happy all righty people We've got about five minutes, five minutes. So here's what we can do in five minutes. We can put this back on. We can finish this up. Oh yeah, and the line weight. Oh, I totally forgot about line weight. Eh. Eh. This is not going to work as well as I thought. Because in order for big things like that to look right, the line weight needs to be really small on it. Otherwise, it's going to look really strange. But you know what? I say screw it. Let's roll with it anyway. I think we can make something work here. So yeah, this is looking pretty cool. Let's go ahead and figure out what colors we want to use here. Here's what I was talking about earlier with color theory. So I usually default to like pinks and stuff, but just in general, try to stay desaturated. 
I feel like too much too often people are like oh let's do like a big punch color and they just slap red in there you can do that but try starting with something that's a little bit more uh, desaturated a little more controlled and then we can fill this there we go and the trick is that this Mika should have a lot more crazy values than the one behind her so uh, or not crazy <laughs> crazy values. What does that even mean? A lot more contrasting values is what I meant to say. So we can quickly get this set up. Okay. Witness me. Witness me set it up. And then we're going to end. And then we'll continue tomorrow. Yeah. Here's how I might go about doing it. So I'll say, um, all right. So we've got this pink background. It looks really cute. I kind of want to push it more towards kind of like the this pink so see how it's like that got some nice mixtures in there slightly cooler and the reason why is i want it to be cool to contrast against mika's pink hair and her skin okay her skin is like very bright it's almost like yellowish so uh that looks really nice against purple huey thank you for the five dollar super chat that should be popping up in just a moment and then guess what's gonna happen i am gonna fist bump you my friend Please give me the most epic the fist most bump. Epic fist bump C. You are right there. Oh, yeah, and I totally cut you off. Sorry, Huey. <laughs> fist bump me. Boom! Oh, yeah, look at that. Creating nebulas. <sighs> that actually puts, like, a nice outline on my fist. I like it. Boom! That's for you, Huey. Sorry, I cut off your, your little super chat there. I'll read it again for you. Here you go. Please give me the most epic fist bump. You are awesome and always will be. You're welcome, Huey. You are welcome for that. And thank you for thank you for being awesome. And thank you for giving back. Thank you for supporting me with my dreams. Wanting to make a stream for you guys. We're gonna slap in some color. Okay, so here's why this is fun. With that color behind, now we can start to do stuff like this. Where I'm gonna just start laying in color, but I'm pressing lightly. See I'm pressing lightly, but then let's say, oh okay, I wanna have a little bit more in here, right? Already you have two very subtle colors, this one and this one, that are interesting to mix together. Right? So we can add a little bit of that. Maybe it's like, oh, that's that could be like the cheeks, right? A little bit more um, kind of uh, pink in there. And then we can have yellow here. Let's see. I think that is the only part of her face that's showing, or the only skin that's showing. So let's go ahead and grab this. Let's push it a little bit more red. So you want to start thinking about colors in terms of relativity. You don't want to say, oh, what color is the cheek? Pink. And then you go and pick pink and then you paint that on. You know, it's, it's too much. You know, you want to start thinking controlled. And you want to say things like, okay, if this is our current skin color right here, we need to saturate and hue shift just a tiny bit, right? Because a little goes a long way. See how just that tiny... Uh, change affected it that much might be a little too much let's go ahead and mix that in I look at that and be like oh that needs to be saturated more let's saturate it just a tad bit more okay and then we can fade it back to the skin by doing this we can add in those saturations there and easily see look at that nice mixture of colors that's happening right there that's color theory for you or at least a way for you to get started on color theory And then for the shadow, I'm just going to put in, see how now my shadows are purple. I'm just using purple to create my shadows. That's because I'm keeping in mind the, uh, basically the ambient light. The ambient light is going to be affecting my shadows. And then see how I just paint in a little bit of red in there? Oh, it looks so nice. Looks so nice. For the lights, let's go ahead and kick them like this, like a dis. Oh yeah, and I'm going to create a new layer on top. But basically, I like to think about my color stage as very experimental, just having a ton of fun, relaxing, enjoying myself. In fact, I usually put on like kind of chill music like this whenever I'm doing lines. I find it helps a lot. Get that shadow in there. And then my other suggestion is learn about transition colors. So right now we have this purple. This purple is going to this blue. 
So see Check that? Check out Gen Z's. Archie uses values incredibly well with lots of colors. Ooh. Gen Z's art? Okay, yes. My girlfriend will be on that immediately as we speak. And then I will check her out. Yeah. Uh, and you might be asking, Kenan, how did you learn how to do this? Yeah, I'm just looking at other people's art. I'm looking at other people's art and I'm like, oh, hey, that works really well. So transitionary colors. See that? Transition color. Put in a transition color like this. Okay. As soon as you start doing this, now all of a sudden people are going to be like, whoa, ho, ho. Whoa, ho, ho. Where did you study color theory? And you can tell them, I stole it from Kenan Lafferty, who stole it from somebody else. See, that makes things look so much more interesting. See, same thing with the nose. See, we have this, we have this shading here, but then look at how that transition color, like I almost think it was like an outline color. Just start playing around with that and notice how you're gonna come across interesting happy accidents. You're gonna come across interesting like color relationships and uh, you're gonna learn. And that's what color theory is. Okay. So yeah, in general, here's how I like to come up with colors. So see, I'll kind of throw in a little bit of that. See, I'm grabbing that background color, throw that a little bit in there. That controls it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a punch color. Now we're gonna go like mega bright with this. See, I'm just gonna drop in like this pink, like this. Okay. I'm gonna do that. And then right there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick it up to like brightness like that and then transition where's the transition where that transition at okay don't make me ask you more than once there we go I think that looks nice I find that colors mix oh here's the other reason why I say pick desaturated colors Desaturated colors mix much better than <coughs> than too heavy of saturation. So let's go ahead and go here. By the way, sorry for all the coughing today. I don't know what's going on with me. Clearly something is not right. Okay, but see how I just like press lightly and some of that yellow is still in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But see this color, I love this color and blend that in there. Maybe a little bit of bluish up here. A little bit of blowish up here. There we go. Cool, see? Interesting eyes. Interesting ice. All right, uh, I want these to be a little bit more pulled towards this pink. So you can see now, again, punch, colors punch that color but then immediately control it control it back to let's say like this color there you go So now we have all kinds of different colors happening in there. There's blues, reds. Actually, I'm gonna put some additional blues in here. Again, desaturate. See that? Slap that blue in there, but because it's desaturated, it automatically kind of goes with the rest of it. See? So now you have this color, that color, and this color. And you can see those are all from different families. So look right here on your Hugh Richter scale. That's from that family. That's from that family. And then here we go all the way to blue because it's desaturated, it works. I'm actually gonna push these green. I'm gonna try some green in there. But you'll find quickly that, oh, I can get away with a lot of stuff as long as my, my colors are desaturated. I can get away with a lot of tomfoolery. And look at how cute that is. And you know what's gonna make her look even cuter? These lips. These lips. And I I drop constantly from different parts. From different parts of the piece. So it's like, oh, I like that pink up there. Let's go ahead and grab that pink. Oh, let's have some desaturated stuff on the bottom of that lip. Oh, so cool. 
happy little relationships. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a shine there, a little shine there. Ooh, nice little juicy lip, Mika. Looking nice. And then maybe a tad bit of that on there. Whew, looks quite nice. That's why I love doing close-up anime faces. You can really experiment with a lot of stuff. Anyways, anyways, I think we're going to call it good for now, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to pick this up at a later date. Because I'm happy with where this got. But uh, there's definitely a lot more work to be done. Definitely a lot more work to be done. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end today's stream. And I'm probably oh going to get some dinner because I'm really hungry. But before I go, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who showed up today. Thank you for everyone who drew along. And thank you, most of all, to everyone who supported and super chatted and donated. Thank you for helping support the stream. This PSD will be on Patreon probably after we're done. I'm probably not going to put it up yet. I still want to experiment with all these colors. But uh, it will be going up soon. But for now, I just want to say ta-ta. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you have a great evening. And if you're going to bed, then sweet dreams to you. <laughs> you guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy this awesome... End scene. Take care, and I'll see you next time.